Yeah, let's get a let's get a good luck in the chat for being amazing with that with that with that exam tomorrow. Hell yeah, let's get some good lucks in here. Also, let me just say, man, Metroid Dread got me feeling some kind of way. I love this game. Good lord. Fuck it. Starting now. What's going on, man? Welcome, welcome. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for being here. We're playing, uh, not Metroid today. Man, I'm going to be very, very honest with you. I have been completely, uh, is my mic on? Some of my mic is on. Hang on a minute. Okay. I've been completely, um, smitten with Metroid Dread. It is such a good game. I got it the day it came out, which for me was, what, Friday? I guess it was the same for everybody. Got it on Friday. Um, been playing it, honestly, nonstop. And, and to be honest with you guys, I'm enjoying it so much 
no offense to y'all, I'm glad that it was not voted as the next game for, for streams because I could not have waited week to week to week to play it. I have been playing it nonstop. It is a delight in every way. Um, I, what I really like about it, and we can talk more about it if you guys want, what I really like about it is, you know, most Metroid games, uh, most Metroidvanias, even though this is just purely Metroid, I think Vania, it is actually a Metroid game. Um, one thing I like about it, one thing that is typical is there's backtracking, right? You have to go back to places you've already been. This game doesn't really make you backtrack. It sort of creates the illusion of backtracking by making, or, or by basically sending you everywhere, but in a set order. Like it, it, it locks you into certain areas because you don't have a power yet. And so you go find that power and then it, and instead of actually going back, you find another way to go back and then you unlock it. It's kind of weird because it actually is, it plays strangely linear, but doesn't feel that way because you're fucking everywhere. Um, so it's sort of, uh, it sort of like simulates what a Metroidvania Metroid game kind of feels like. But that being said, the style, the polish, the lore, all of that is just delicious and I'm here for it. Uh, anyway, so let me read out the chat real quick. Tony Pony, what's going on, man? We've got to talk about the stream schedule because I know you just got a job. First of all, congratulations. That's fantastic. Big poggers on that one. Uh, being amazing says stud just stopping by because you got an exam tomorrow. I hope that goes well. Being amazing. Trigraptor says oh, oh, oh snap for his DTG stream. Trigraptor, very, very, very glad to have you here. Always a pleasure having new viewers in here. Hope you're doing well. Hope you have a good time today. We're uh, playing some Eastward. Not very far in the game. Liking it so far, though. Lazy Knowledge, what's going on? Dr. Sophie, good to see you. We have uh, Potato Tim Him, who says hello. Uh, we got non dairy bench hype bench hype indeed fernan for is it for is it, okay it's, it's two r's in an n i thought it was an m fernan uh we have tony pony again yeah we'll talk about that in a second uh vector Seder, dead metro music hell to the yeah um and this is let's see hero name villain eight hello hello what's going on hero good to see you uh where's the chat is the chat not there there's the chat okay that was weird i was uh I was worried the chat was gone. Um, Nandari says, okay, chat, what makes something spooky? Not, horror, not horrific or terrifying or even totally scary, but making something that's only a little concerning. I'm thinking like the feeling of walking through dimly lit woods um, full of leafless trees or slowly making your way through a dense fog. Shout out Outer Wilds. What makes something spooky? I can tell you right now what my answer is because I've talked about it several times. <laughs> There's my answer. Hope you like it. We're going to wrap up the stream now. Um, <laughs> B-Boy then just says, I got a shower, what's popping though? Uh, not much, man. We're getting ready to play Eastward. Nondairi has a good question. For me, it's ambiguity, right? Um, the Uncanny Valley, I believe, one of the reasons it works so well is because you can't, it's not quite, something's not quite human, you can't quite tell. Anytime something sits on the fence between safe and not safe, it creates a really uneasy feeling. Um, someone with a gun pointed at you, it's nothing ambiguous about that, you're just scared. You're not spooked by someone threatening your life. You are fucking feared. Like it is scared. You don't know if you should fight or flight because you're you haven't got to that point yet. You're you're very much like, oh my god, this is horrifying. I can't. I th th what am I supposed to do? It's too much, right? It, it, it's sending the signal of like, yes, this is a problem. Get ready. But ambiguity, a dark, dark, spooky woods. Maybe there's something. Maybe there's not. Um, something without a face. What the fuck am I looking at? It doesn't look dangerous, but it's very un it's very strange to me. It's all about ambiguity. It's all about that strange um, valley between safe and not safe. Non dairy reading asked me anything. I assume that was the <laughs> I assume that was the uh, that was the question that you were asking. Um, there's another Bert. Wonderful. Spooky equals mystery. Exactly. It, it's leaving things to the imagination. But an atmosphere can can contribute to that by just again. There's no you know. Atmospheric music typically doesn't have any type of tune, right? Um, you could get into like music theory and like why the like there's a song from the from from uh, Dark Knight, the Dark Knight with like you know Hans Zimmer's like like that that steadily rising chord that makes if it's a chord. I'm not a musician, I could, really couldn't tell you. But there's a, there's a particular song that that um, is very unsettling in the Dark Knight, and it's for those it's for some reasons that someone that knows music theory could explain. I'm sure there's a YouTube video on it somewhere. Because there are other talented folks out there that do what I do, but um, for other things like music and such. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So as you can, as you can tell, I've been playing wrong button. I've been playing a little bit of Metroid. Uh, it's uh, I'm pretty dang far. I think uh, I'm not. We're obviously not playing this, but I just I'll show you real quick. But I got most of the map unlocked. I'm not going to show you too much more because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to spoil much. Uh, B Moises, hey, thank you so much, B Boy. Always a pleasure, man. One of the one of the founding members of the Bench Tower. So glad to have B Boy here. Um, yeah, loving this game. I do need to save real quick though, so let me save and then we'll 
pop out of here, but my god, this game is great. I think I'm probably gonna finish it tomorrow, maybe? I'm not, I, I feel like I'm pretty close. Do all sub babies here? Hell to the, yeah. Um, okay, so the save, we'll go ahead and close out of that. Until next time, I lo love that game. Love that game so much. Uncertainty, exactly, Vector. Mm, non okay, so Rooster King says, I actually think it would be lack of atmosphere and context. Um, I think that adding context makes it more creepy than spooky. Spooky is a single event or occurrence or object that is scary completely in and of itself. Okay, so spooky versus creepy. To me, those are synonymous. So let me look up the definition because I'm not going to swap over my screen or anything right now. I'm just going to look up. Spooky definition. Spooky is a sinister uh, adjective for sinister or ghostly in a way that causes fear and unease. Okay, unease. So we'll just say that. And then we're going to go creepy definition. I got to erase it first. Creepy definition. And creepy is causing an unpleasant feeling of fear and unease. Okay, so they're, they're pretty dang close. Um, Rooster King, I'm not sure what you're trying to... Um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Distinguish here. But I would love to know more because this is a fucking, it's an awesome topic. I got two more. I have three videos left for the year, and two of them are spooky. So go figure. I guess the the Delta Rune video I'm, I'm getting ready to do in the next week or so is uh, not actually that spooky. But it's you know it, it talks about a part of that game that is that is still spooky. Non dairy as always, big preach. Uh, as a non example, this resub is not spooky. <laughs> exactly, that's a perfect perfect anti example. Prepping for my yearly watch of Over the Garden Wall, and it got me thinking. Hmm, Over the Garden Wall. Tell me about that. I don't think I've ever uh, heard of that, or why. I certainly haven't watched it because I haven't heard of it. What's that about? I would love to know. And by the way, I'm not. I'm not very like. <laughs> I'm extremely tired. I had to do like an hour and a half of voiceover today between the Delta Room video and the the ad that's part of it. So, um, which by the way, it's not the ad is not related to the video. Don't think that I'm going to shoehorn it into the video. It's. It's just a normal ad. Enjoy it. Don't enjoy it. Skip it. I don't care what you do. Got. I just gotta pay the bills. But yeah, looking forward to the Delta Room video that's coming out. <laughs> Excuse me. Good God. What's wrong with me? In like a week and a half. So it'll be kind of a chill stream. If you guys want to hit me with crazy questions, um, like the uh, spooky question, I'd love to answer it. That's that's kind of what I'm in the mood for today. I don't know if I have as many jokes as as much as I do usually. It might just be more of a chill day. Um, last save was here, I suppose. Yeah. Mm, I think you would love Over the Garden Wall. It has the exact same, exactly what I think of when I think spooky. Okay, well, let me just look it up real quick. Tell me about it. I'm just going to look up a Over the Garden. I typed in Farton. That's not the right word. Over the Garden Wall. It's on Hulu. Ooh, it's animated. Okay, I didn't realize it was animated. I already the, the way it's animated already is uh, I don't want to say Cuphead, but it certainly has sort of um, some old world style to it. Wasn't there something about schedule? Oh, thank you, Sippy. Um, so the deal with the schedule is this: a lot of folks cannot make these screen these screams cannot make these streams because of um, one reason or the other. People have jobs. People uh, are overseas. Being amazing, I believe, is overseas. Uh, I know Aaron Lucen is, not, when I say overseas, I just mean not in the U.S. So time zones vary is what I'm saying. Um, I'm thinking about potentially in the future, because I'm actually getting ready to move here pretty dang soon. Um, and because you, you know, I'm be moving and like turning over a new leaf entirely, uh, it would be apropos to also change the stream time. So if you guys wanted me to move to like what's Saturday morning for me, which I guess would be midday for a lot of other folks, um, I'm happy to do that. If you guys would, if you guys would prefer Saturday, if if Saturdays are too busy, I'll just keep leaving my Wednesdays. But whatever you guys think, we can um, we can have that discussion. I want to, let's see, do I need to go back to the school? I already. So here's here's just a real quick a recap from last time. We're playing as uh, we're playing as what's his name? John? Yeah, John. We're playing as John. He he dropped he, he dropped off his uh, basically his daughter at school. And um, now I'm trying to, do I have to pick her up from school? Is that what's going on? In Germany, it's a little, exactly, lazy knowledge, right. So it might be easier if I did streams earlier in the day on the weekends. I close my door and watch you here at work. Here, well, here I appreciate that. I, I have done that for streamers before as well. 
I heard what happened yesterday. You're on a very thin line. I've got my eye on you. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm still going right inside the school, no problem. Uh, in the U.S. Central Standard Time, yeah, you can see the CS CST on here. So I'm in the I'm in the uh, good old U.S. of A. So what was the principal thinking? Allowing a child like that in the school? Oh man, so what's the oh? Are they talking about Sam? I'll punch somebody, man. Don't talk about my kids like that. What we got? Uh, Catherine, remember you're not to talk to anyone about that thing at school, right, dear? You mean Uncle Muller? Don't mention that in Grace's name in front of me. I'm talking to my son. Can't you see that? Get lost. Oh, that's right. They have these, like... So, there's, like, some pricks at the school, is what we established last time. And there's more going on with, with John's, like, daughter here. I didn't see the thing. I'm all the way to school. I've got a bad feeling about this. He's probably thinking of some new opal prank to pull on me. Was that week? Yeah, Tony, so maybe, maybe. We might be moving to Saturdays, or we might be doing like two a week or something. I, I want to keep one consistent stream a week, but I might try to do either more on Saturdays sometimes, or I might just move them to Saturdays. But I know people are busy on Saturdays, but I also know that the time would work out better. I don't have to work on the weekends, so I can actually stream earlier in the day if you guys wanted me to. Um, I'm just trying to just, just try to read the room, see what you guys think. Yeah, I guess we'll, I guess I'll join the class, Miss Real. Let's see what this is going on about. We're hiding underground. Above us lies nothing but death. Oh, there's a paragraph that just got put in here. Um, he who enters the forbidden land shall open a path to the world above, bringing disaster to Pot Rock Isle. So that's another thing. So we're all underground right now. Some sort of post-apocalyptic thing has occurred. We're trying to get back. There's there's rumors and speculation about getting back above ground, and apparently Sam's real parents. Is there or so, no 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 one kid one the loser kid everybody was picking on his dad went there, but apparently that's also where you go when you're like cast out. It's very it's very Gurren Lagan, which by the way don't spoil that for me. I'm only like ten episodes in right now, but one thing did happen to fuck me up. Um, now Darius says over the garden wall is an animated tale about two brothers, one of which voiced by Elijah Wood. Wow, in an Americana setting, trying to make their way home through a land of interesting people and animals, whatever might be looking in the dark. It's tw ten episodes, twelve minutes each. Oh well, that's so digestible. I could just pop that in and pop it out. Um, so a standard movie on the whole, very classic fairy tale, not the anime, um, but its own take on the matter. It's one of my favorite shows ever, and I think it should, you should give, everyone should give it a shot. Nice. I, pff, I'm down with that. It's getting close to Halloween, I might have to do that. Um, and Tony Pony says he'd be interested in any form of weekend streams. Appreciate you saying that. That's the feedback I'm looking for. Like I said, we always have... I, I've, I've done weekend streams a handful of times and had a, a reasonable turnout for them. So, like, clearly there are people that would watch. I just typically do, like, fighting games. Um, but maybe we can make it Wednesday and Saturday, or we can just do whichever one works for me that week. We'll see. But definitely thinking about flexing it a little bit. If it's so scary to go up there, why do people still want to go? That's propaganda, my man. That's, well, uh, because the sky is blue up there. It's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Sam, don't... You're lying. You got any proof? You've seen it before, my guy. She's seen it. I've seen it with my own eyes. Oh yeah, that's right. You're a fantasist too. Ha 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 ha. No, I'm not. It's true, I really have seen it. What did I say, huh? Another lie. What an asshole. This kid with his stupid walk over from Final Fantasy X here got Fantasist. <laughs> the first time I was playing Final Fantasy X in front of my dad. And, uh, you know, if you play Final Fantasy X, you know Waka has, like, this giant tuft of hair, like, right here. My dad saw that, and my dad is, like, basically old enough to be my grandpa. He just happy when he was, like, really old. Uh, my dad was, like, 50 when I was born. He's 77 now, I guess. Um, he, but, anyways, he's old. So, we were playing Final, I was playing Final Fantasy X. He saw Waka's haircut, and he goes, my God, he's got a middle finger for a haircut. I've never seen that before. <laughs> um, Nandari's into it. Awesome. We'll probably just start. We'll just we'll just probably try it and see what happens. We might swap the Saturdays at some point or do a couple Saturdays as well. Yeah, I feel that Sophie. It's it's a pain in the ass, but it's 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 for, it's for a good reason. So I'm excited for it. It's funny how these things like bullies at school made more uh, made me more mad than characters being murdered. I know, man. That's so true. Like, there's something so primal about just an asshole kid bullying somebody. Like, you can't not get behind, you know, you can't not get sympathy for the kid that's being bullied. I'm not a fantasist, I'm not. And this, this progressed for several hours until... Dude. 
What does your hair do? What is this? Uh oh, the principal walked in. Principal Tacoma. Sam, don't you dare blame my kid. Get out. <gasps> You're to leave this classroom at once. I'm not a fantasy. Oh, see, this. Okay, so this is interesting. This is. Okay, look. What the hell is happening here? Hang on. What is this? This is the, the weird thing that happened from last time. So Sam has some other version of herself. I'm not a fantasist. I'm not. It's true. You weren't lying. Is this on PC? I think it's on PC, Switch, a couple of other things. I'm playing on Switch. I think it's on like, most platforms. But I... Show them. Prove it to them. She's walking through stuff. But how can I... I... Is there a bandana? On her eyes, is she like a near character? The Forbidden Land. What story are we telling here? She just left the classroom. Oh, it's on my Cartoon Network. Interesting. I'm talking about over the garden wall. Hmm. Cottonhead's in trouble. That's fucked up. She did have some pretty fluffy hair. Nobody messes with me and get away. First of all, how come I'm not controlling these dialogue boxes? They're going too fast. I thought I was the one. Maybe I set to auto on accident. Quest log. All right, where do I go next? Hmm. Okay, so that got locked away. I need to go find Sam. I guess that's probably the thing. I should probably chase after my person I'm caring for. Also, could I hear? Oh, I'm listening. I just realized I'm, I don't even need these. I don't need these. I don't need them. <laughs> so I changed things up. I can actually hear my switch out loud now. So if you guys have any weird echo, let me know. I just also just realized I never messed with the audio. Is the game extremely loud? Holy shit. Hang on. I'm so sorry. Was the, has the audio just been terrible this whole time? I completely forgot to mess with that. Hang on. Are we good? I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't even... I, completely, I just overlooked the audio entirely. Okay, crap. Oh, I'm so upset with myself. Okay, we good? I need I need some kind of feedback. <laughs> Hold on. What, what happened here? Uh, my face with my bioluminescent doppelganger shows up to my school. That's, that's facts. Seem fine to me. I hear the music. Yeah, it's good. It's been good. Maybe a little quiet. Okay, okay. Okay, perfect. Well then, Daryl's just on his back on his bullshit. That's fine. Okay, cool. I don't need this anymore. I'm above headphones. You can't scare the shit out of me with your <laughs> with your subscriptions anymore. Um, okay, I gotta find Sam. Where's Sam at? I hear the music's been good. Perfect, perfect. Um, Bonsai, what's going on, Stephen? I watched the Annabelle movie and it was pretty creepy. I enjoy horror with uh, more creep factor and ghost and less gore. Yeah, I can't do gore, man. It doesn't do anything for me. When I see dudes getting slaughtered, it just, it's not, it, it just, it's not scary or anything. It just, like, makes my stomach turn sour. I just, I don't enjoy it. Um, I can do creepy. I can do ominous thrillers. Um, the Invisible Man was a really good kind of thriller movie that was, watch The Invisible Man. That was really good, the most recent one. Um, hot Dog, cool. I don't know what that means. Um, what was I going to say? I, I had another thing I was going to say. Exactly. It's just gross. So no Squid Game. I haven't watched Squid Game. Everyone's talking about it. It's like the most popular show in the world right now. I'm sure it'd make an awesome cycle of play, but it's not a game. And I haven't watched it yet. Good off me. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, quick, Sam's headed for the Forbidden Land. You go, okay, okay, we gotta get to the dig site. There's no way I'll make it there fast enough. Cool, I gotta go protect Sam from deciding to run through. Yeah, is, is Squid Game like that? Is it brutal? Because I don't mind a little bit. I just don't, I can't do like Saw. That's my thing. I can't do, you know just extremely excruciating like if i even found destination to a certain extent and they they censor a lot of stuff but i just can't do it if it's super graphic um if it's a horror squid game like Ga game of thrones great game of thrones did not bother me game of thrones did not bother me um despite how graphic it was because it was on the context of like just medieval very sort of raw you know but um i couldn't do like saw i couldn't do like uh, is it is it just isn't it just Halloween? It's got Freddy Krueger and like he so he pulls the dude down to the bed and blood like that was too much for me. I just couldn't do that. Um, but Gore doesn't scare me that much, says Tony. But what gets me is people's bodies move slash mutate in an unnatural way. Yeah, that's that weird Uncanny Valley shit, right? Um, Chage says uh, she just ran to the Forbidden Land. Oh, so you can just get to okay. So it's not even like it's a myth. You can just get there. You can just get to the Forbidden Land by taking a little escalator up. That's cool. Why bother? That chicky's not coming back. Oh, is this game gonna take? 
place up there that we are on some Gurren Lagan shit. Also, Steven, if you're still here, I, I am watching Gurren Lagan as you uh, requested. And uh, I wasn't feeling it until about episode eight and the thing happens. And now I'm like the most invested I've been in something in a long time. So whew, I didn't I didn't think they'd do what they did. John, I mean, uh, John, my man, Sam ran to the Forbidden Land. Sure did. She's going to get killed in there. I don't know, man. She might be fine. She was trying to convince everyone to go rescue her. Uh, who was it? Who entered the Forbidden Land? The mayor's gonna be pissed about this. Not good, the mayor already knows. Oh, fuck. I find them and there will be hell to pay. We just gotta go get her. Fuck this place, let's go to the Forbidden Land. Episode 8 is fantastic. Yeah, they were guys, uh... These are the guys of Trigger before they were Trigger. Are they really? Okay, interesting. Because it was very Trigger-esque. I never actually checked to see if Trigger was making it, but it's very Trigger-esque. Um, I'm loving it, like I said. But it, it does... <sighs> There are moments where I'm just like, this is fucking ridiculous. And then there are other moments where I'm like, oh, but, but, but wait, but what about the, you know, I'm so invested. Yeah, no one spoil what happens. A thing happens. I'm not going to even tell you if it's sad or happy or, or just weird, but something happens. Um, and I was not, <laughs> I was not ready. Yeah, no, no spoilers. Just know that I wasn't ready personally. It caught me way the hell off guard, as a plot twist should, as a plot twist should. So I, I give it props for that. Okay, so I have a bot to remember to play this and not Metroid. Um, no, nope, that didn't work. Okay. Yeah, it, it is a wild ride, I gotta say. And it's like how silly it is. Like, there are times where it's just clearly like, yeah, you know, we know what we're doing. We're just having a good time. Uh, it doesn't have to necessarily be serious all the time. Character design, very, uh, very enticing. Uh, in more ways than one. Hang on, what am I? Oh, yeah, okay, so cool. This is the Forbidden Land. This is how I get there. Ooh. Ooh. Are we going? There is just an escalator. You can just get... There's arrows to it. What do you mean Forbidden Land? This is like being advertised to everybody. I don't understand what is going on. Here it goes. Yeah, definitely. If you haven't watched Girl in the Gun, definitely give it a watch. It's only like 24 episodes, I think. It's on Netflix. You know what else is on Netflix? Your Name. A really good movie, but not in America, as a matter of fact. So if you're in America, you might want to get a VPN. Which means you... I'm just kidding. I'm getting I'm getting warmed up for the next ad. Can I jump? I can't jump. Okay. I want to pick that up. Let me pick that I want to pick it up. Thank you. Go ahead and set that bomb there. Yeah, so this is... Um, just in case you missed last week, this is Eastward. Very uh, interesting little game. I, I'm really liking the story. I, I don't think I can get across this. Yeah, um, I'm really liking the story. It's sort of um, Zelda-esque. It has a you know a couple little JRPG components here and there. Honestly, it, it's kind of um, the overworld at least, not the battle system, because clearly this is what you're seeing is the battle system. Um, I forgot I have a charge one. Um, but it, but the overworld kind of reminds me of like. Uh, Mario and Luigi, uh, Superstar Saga, Adventures Through Time, all those good old Alpha Dream games. That's, that's kind of what the overworld tells me. That's kind of what I'm getting from it. Can I jump? I thought I could. That's for Chief? Okay, so, hmm, sure, where do I go? Uh, my favorite is uh, Sayuki. First brought the DVD in a whim way back in the day and instantly fell in love. Uh, bu 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 oh, your name. Oh, okay, I, well, I missed a lot. Hang on. Um, <laughs> I, I would love what I've read of the manga. Oh, you read the... There's a Gurren Lagann manga? Is that what I'm hearing? Oh, no, no, you're talking about uh, the... Uh, <laughs> you're talking about Yaki, Yakuza goes, uh, goes Houseman. Haven't heard of that. Um, your name is... Oh, your name is Delightful. Weathering with you is so damn good. Yeah, I know you're all about Fully Cooly, Steven. I really did like Fully Cooly. It was a it was a fever dream, but again, I could tell like it was it was intentionally a fever dream. It wasn't just done that way for uh, because they didn't know what they were doing. Like it was, it, it had that, but it also had the charm to pull it off. You feel me? There was a lot going on, and very even though it was only like six episodes long, it felt like way longer just because so much happens. <laughs> um, what am I doing? I can't. I literally can't go anywhere. Is it this? Do I need to... Is it J? 
generator, maybe? No, I just came from there. Okay, so there's actually nothing to do over there. Way of the House Husband, I think, is the actual title. Oh, I have heard of that. And yes, the, the, the most dense anime I think I've ever watched, honestly. It kind of watched like Erased did. Erased was only like 11 episodes, but it, it felt like it. there was so much that happened in that short amount of time. I mean, do I have to look up a walkthrough? Why can't I figure out what to do here? There's a thing here. Yeah, I love the... I actually read Erased for the first time before I watched it. I'm literally just doing all the things I can possibly do. That doesn't... No. Nothing. Hmm. The anime, the manga, the live action... And oh, there was a live action, wasn't there? Can I throw this, maybe? Oh, I bet I can. I bet I can throw it. Okay. Tree bomb. Oh, I know exactly what to do. It's just it's wanting me to figure it out. Boom, baby. Okay. I know it was it was asking me to put two and two together because I had a bomb tutorial and then I had like a a, <laughs> a skillet whacking contest tutorial and it was asking me to figure it out. That's nice. Okay. I appreciate that. It didn't just hold my hand through it. That's pretty cool. Can I just connect you? No, I wanted it to be connected. That was the problem. Beautiful. Um, buh, 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 buh. Have you tried 0.5 a press scuttlebug jump? I don't think I have. Is that a show? Still haven't watched the rebuild of Ava? Oh God, I, I really want to do that. Just because I look back at Ava like, what did I just watch? And I, it, But there was so much about that show that could have been great. And not that it was bad per se. It was bad. I, I thought it was bad, but I thought it was it was good in that it was like nothing I had ever seen before. So like, it, it, I give it props on being unique, but I'm never going to watch Ava again because I've, I've seen enough, you know, like, but again, it had a really interesting concept, a really interesting premise. Would love to see it fully done well, you know, because I know there was some like production issues at the time. So I, I would love to watch the, to do the, the redos. Um, also, there's a sub. It looks like uh, this is Brucini. Hey, what's going on, Bruce? Good to see you, man. Uh, been a while, but I hope, I hope the day, <laughs> they, they were fine. We didn't finish that game because I got tired of waiting for it to finish. I haven't even finished it like off stream but maybe at some point been mad busy with the job and school but i'm ready to sit on a bench for the afternoon well hell yeah take a deep seat man i uh, hope you're doing all right bruce i, I understand being busy because god damn i've been busy too 100 percent trigger after that's a great point uh are links allowed one of yeah that's fine you can post links i don't give a shit um if i click on it that's my damn bad if, it, if it's spam it's my bad uh, 1.0, 2.0, cool. Three shifts all over 2.0. Need uh, I need to see how they conclude it. Isn't that, there's four, right? What's going on, B boy? B boy's clean. He washed off all of his uh, smash prowess. It's all gone now. That's how that works. That's why you don't shower when you're really grinding. When you're in the lab for smash, you don't want to wash the skills away. Okay, so we're in this little area. I need to figure out how to get. Uh, give me that. I need that. That's important. I need to get this door connected. Are we all? Sink the, oh, I need to push one down here. Which one's missing? Which one's missing? Do I need to just turn it on? Yeah, I got to turn it on. Haha, <laughs> that would help. Okay. Shh, what is this? 0.5 button is scuttlebug jump. Hang on. This is 24 minutes long. I'm just going to... Uh, oh, this is, oh, this is, okay. This is like a, this is, this is not a summoning salt video, but it is like a summoning salt video. Hell yeah. Watch later. You got it. That's easy. That's an easy one. I, I have such mad respect for speedrunners. Um, Bebop's amazing. I've watched Bebop. It's so, so damn good. An A press is an A press. You can't half press an A press. Yeah, like, can, well, can you? Because isn't there like a, if you hold, well, I guess a press is a press and a hold is a hold. I was thinking about holding versus pressing. Um, but, um, yeah. I blow these damn snake weeds up. I, I lost one. Oh, yeah. I have such a, I have such a mad respect for speed running. Um, Spencer actually asked me the other day, he was like, hey, man, would you ever think about speed running a game? Uh, and I just, I very calmly responded, no. Uh, not no, but fuck no. 
I have no interest in doing that. Not because I, I don't think it's cool. I just, I could never, you know. Um, and it's not, I, I have this thing, right? So, and, and I've considered making a video about this. Have I made a video about this? Oh, I'm kind of curious. Oh, I touched on it in the, that's what it, I, the, the binging versus drifting video, I kind of touched on it. But there's a, there's a thing that happens. People are different in a certain way. I, and I think I've like mentioned this to you guys before. I am a person that I can't spend, I, I go back and forth rather on whether I should spend a fuck ton of time on one game or if I should spread myself and play as many games as possible to get a lot of experiences. Um, I feel like before I became a, a YouTuber, I was very much into, I like this music. I was very much into um, really getting into one or two games, right? Replaying them. I haven't. Re I can't tell you the last time I replayed a game. I guess it would be Fire Emblem, Three Houses. But, um, but the, but people are different, right? Like some people just want to play one game a fuck ton, and of course you have to do that to speed run a game. And that's one reason it's not really for me because I don't do that much anymore. Like now I'm trying to get caught up on this backlog that I have that has been developing. It's, been, it's just as like a giant four year gap when I was in college, really like five or six, because I didn't play much games in high school either. I was playing Magic the Gathering all the time. Again, one, sp one specific game. So I'm trying to get caught up. Um, it, so it depends, I guess, on the person, right? But I think there are a lot of people that would just prefer to, I'm out of bombs, that would just prefer to play one game over a, as, and get really good at it or spend a lot of time really investing in it as opposed to, I don't know, key. I was dumb, as opposed to, um, you know, playing a bunch of games. It's an interesting idea. The best anime for me are, oh, this, oh what's going on, Muhammad? Good to see you, man. Uh, best anime for me are uh, Hunter x Hunter, uh, oh, Monster, Hunter x Hunter, Samurai Champloo, uh, and Champloo, and, and Cowboy Bebop. God, I love Bebop. I haven't watched Hunter x Hunter. Everyone says you have to watch it. Bebop is the gateway drug. For a lot of people, it is. Bebop's so damn good. Um, I watch people play Secret of Men and Chrono Trigger and the Automata as a speed run. My God, I will. I love watching speed. I love really like understanding how they break a game. I watched one. I was I was I was so fascinated with um, one. There was a speed run for Octopath Traveler. I watched it in SD at, a, at, a, uh, at the GDC a couple years ago. I'm not, is it, not 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 GDC. Um, what games done quick? GDQ, <laughs> Game Developers Conference. Games done quick. There's one difference. That's that's one little difference. That's what fucked me up. But yeah, I watched the Octopath Traveler speedrun. I was just fascinated because with Octopath Traveler, you could to, to beat the game, you only have to beat it with one character. So you literally have eight different routes that you can beat the game on. And they went with I think um, at the time it's probably different now. You know the meta is probably different. But at the time I I do remember they went with um, Tressa the the the. the the girl that does the deals and I, it's because you can like manipulate her money very early on and get her e extremely strong it's so so damn cool again i love it i love the idea of it it would never be for me because i just i could never i i, I could never spend that kind of time uh and i need really bombs really bad because i can't get past these pricks i go back and forth on this too talking about the one game or several games sometimes it's nice to play like four games sitting for 30 minutes each yeah exactly i like to dip my toes every now and then but Smash and Guilty Gear recently have been the games that I actually just spent a fuck ton of time on because you have to do that to, to get to get good. Super Paper Pokemon is not a speedrunner myself, but mad respect for uh, who can keep at it a game and both know it inside and out. Yeah, to to know a game that intimately, right? To to actually understand like every little trick about it. Um, there's a certain level of competency. There's a certain level of, like mastery that comes with that. That's a whole psych of play because the, psych the psychology of like mastery is a is a thing that I remember uh, being discussed in classes. Like because I remember being talked about like in the concept of chess masters and how you know chess chess masters typically take about ten years to get to the point to where they can just see the state of a board and then know exactly how the game is going to play out, you know, beyond that moment. It's, it's, there's a certain state of mastery um, that's super interesting to think about. And there's our key. I love that there's not too much dialogue here. This is fun, I'm, en I'm enjoying this game. Um, 
SGDQ. Yeah, that's what it was. Summer Games. Yes, thank you, Fernand. That's what it was. Um, Bruce says, some games really benefit from multiple playthroughs, but a lot of games are padded in such a way that I would never replay them. Like Breath of the Wild was a great experience, but it's so lengthy. Yeah, exactly. So you could go get a totally different experience from Breath of the Wild just by playing it differently. You know, you play you technically you could do like a Legends mode or whatever the... Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Um, <laughs> technically, you could do like a Legends mode or whatever the case... You know, whatever it is. The, the Hero mode, I think. I tried that one time and got pretty far. There's a lot you could do to, to sort of freshen up um, one of those, but some, yeah, some games are just built to where multiple playthroughs is really enticing. Um, Fire Emblem Three Houses, which again is like in the past three or four years is the only game I have replayed. Well, that in Breath of the Wild. Because um, I was like all I had at that, at that point in my life. But yeah, I... Um, it, Three houses is good for it because there's three different routes, three different endings, and there's tons of characters. So if you didn't recruit this character on that route, you can do it again with this route. Honestly, I think a lot of the Fire Emblem games kind of have that same appeal because um, you can just pair characters and have different marriages and, and offspring in line, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I haven't rewatched an anime though. RDC says uh, Hunter Hunter is my second favorite, but that's one I can rewatch very often. Yeah. Mostly it's background noise. Yeah, I haven't rewatched an anime in God knows how long. Sometimes what I'll do though is I'll look up scenes. I'll just think about a scene randomly. I'm like, oh, remember that time that fucking All Might did the thing? And so I, and I'll go look up the scene. You know, um, I often look up the um, um, oh, what's the damn? I can't. Whatever. Moving on. Uh, only speed run very obscure games since there's very little competition. Yes, B boy. That's an, <laughs> that's another fun thing is you can just be like, you know what? No one's got the world record of. Uh, this particular little indie game that I only I know about, so I may as well go ahead and take advantage of that. And there are some games too that are ugly to speedrun, like they just don't look good. You know, it's just it's just like one glitch after another. But there are some games where like the speedrun of it is gorgeous. You're just you're just mesmerized with the skill of it. Watching them go in and out and you know maneuver just so seemingly so seamlessly between worlds and transitions and cancels and all that shit it's just oh. that's the beauty of uh gaming is there's just so many different things you can do you can't speed run a movie i mean you can but you can't there's no hard mode for a movie there's there's just so much more you can do in the gaming world nondari linked a video about getting interested in speed running let's see Super Mario World credits. Were oh, actually, I'm so glad you you sent this because I've seen this before and didn't know what it was. So that is going in the uh, the watch later. Appreciate that. I never tire of good DKC2 100% runs. Yes, yeah, there's a certain beauty to it, right? Of just, and I'm, I'm not big on the Donkey Kong Country games, but uh, I get it. You know, like there there are some games where that just shit it just it just works. Also, what is happening here? being blown that way um or like speedrunning paper mario using ocarina of time not neat what the what that's a thing you wouldn't speak run a car <laughs> you wouldn't speed run a car or speak run a car um adnan 2208 uh first time chatter have you seen the game death loop first of all welcome very glad to have you here first time chatter not sure if you are just po oh fuck, fuck, fuck. not sure if you are a um a lurker or if you are a, um, or this is actually your first time here, but welcome. And yes, I have heard of Deathloop. It is a game I have yet to try, but I've heard enough. Oh, <laughs> I've made a discovery. Uh, it's a game I've heard a lot about. Um, everyone says it's great. I watched, uh, I've only watched a little bit of gameplay, but my favorite part of the game I can already tell you is, is the fact that you can just, <laughs> is the fact that you can just walk up to somebody and just, <sighs> just, kidding, just, <laughs> just boot the shit out of him. That's a, a wonderful, wonderful gift. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Super. Like, um, you could argue that games are supposed to be. Uh, g games are weird because a game can be an accomplishment, right? Like, you can watching a movie. You're not gonna be like, oh shit, I beat this movie. Like, it, it doesn't. Games are weird because they're experiences and accomplishments simultaneously. You know. So I think that's probably why, um, probably why you wouldn't want to speedrun a, it, by speedrunning a game. You're like, oh, I'm the one that's done this the fastest. 
I, I, I know this thing in a, in a whole, I keep, I keep going back to, I keep hitting in the menu because I'm holding the trigger because of uh, Metroid Dread. But yeah, you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't brag about the fact that you pulled this off and your copy of 50 First Dates, <laughs> you know, like. Uh, wait, oh, so you swapped this, the, oh, okay. So I'm just gonna hit you with my little boy here. No, 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 pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Okay, thank God. I was like, no, no I only got two bombs, dog. I gotta make this shit work. Gotta make it last, and yeah. Oh, no, no. Oh, it didn't work somehow. That's weird. I guess I don't care that I don't blow it up. I just need to get past it. You wouldn't speed run a cat? No, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, Edna says I'm from India. It's 3 a.m. here, so timings don't match. That explains it. Hope all is well in India. Uh, would you speed run a horse? My wife has done that. She is. She is. She used to be a big horse person, so she would speed run a horse. I have non dairy. I'm glad you say that. Uh, and then awesome. I'm so glad you found me, man. It's. Uh, I love doing those videos. Appreciate you being here. Welcome to the Bench Tower. That is what we are called here. <laughs> I don't know. There's a, there's a long story behind that. Just know we are the Bench Tower. Um, yes, non dairy. I have seen that non that terminal montage video. I love all this stuff. I want to be his friend so bad. Um, but he, God, my God, all the shit he makes is so good. <laughs> Get off me. Back up. Really like. I'm really digging the music in this game. Both both this and the the kind of like chill one we were just hearing or really put me in a good place. Also, I can't believe Sam got through here unscathed because apparently this is the direction Sam came. Ooh. Yeah, let's get the, uh. Put the arm in the air? Like you just don't care? What? Okay, I'll grab these bombs. That is one thing I would love, uh, speaking about terminal montage, I would love to become friends with a lot more YouTubers. Um, I, I, um, if you see me on Twitter, you know, I know, um, you know, I know like Eurothug and I know, uh, Mitch, um, Heavy Eyed, I know Raz Buten, I know a couple people, oh, uh, Alex Mokola became friends with him not too long ago. He's making some really good stuff, but man, there were so many, uh, like, Eyepatch Wolf, I know you guys know him. I want to be his friend so fucking bad. Such a cool guy. He's so handsome and talented and good at video essays. Baba is you has to make some really interesting speedruns, right? It has to. Um, for instance, this was the speedrun of Paper Mario at SGTQ this year. I don't remember the specifics, but it involves doing specific things in Ocarina of Time and then swapping games while the... What? Excuse me? Hang on. Fuck it, we'll, we'll do real, just real quick. I'm kind of curious. How, hang on a second. We'll, we'll watch this, y'all. Just, just real quick. It looks to be just like a little minute clip. But we'll pop this over just real quick and see what, what we're looking at. Uh, wait, I have Vector. I have joined. I have been in his streams a handful of times. Um, he did notice me one time, but and he even read my name. But apparently, he hasn't heard of me because he like that wasn't enough to. Oh, I, I can't hear this. It manipulates RAM or something. Hang on a second. Is this exactly the right moment here? Also, I still have the dolly here. I want, I want the moment where he uses the ocarina of time. I just wanted I to do that. I about that. I forgot you could do that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Also, why is my right, so CPU like tripping out right now? With it. All right. And then I have, I think, yeah, one more glitch that I want to show off. And this is the glitch that led to stop and swap and ace and paper Mario happening. Uh, so in Hang on a minute. In the oh, it's exclusive to the Japanese version. If I actually bring up the pause menu, uh, uh -huh. actually, Rain, you, you were starting to explain some stuff, right? You wanted to explain those words? Uh, like Wait, was it not the beginning? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. He swaps out a lot earlier. Oh, okay, okay. Find me the, hey, uh, friend, if you can give me the timestamp on there, I'll just leave the video up. Give me the timestamp and I'll jump to it because I'm curious as hell. I got to see this, so... We'll start back to the game, but I, I I gotta see that. I gotta see what that's about. That feels like that feels worth sharing, right? If, if the stupid, if the ghost stories dub with the bunny going ha, 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 was enough to was good enough to, to to derail a stream for, we can derail a stream for that. 
Um, so yeah, find a, if you can find a timestamp for an, that's perfect. Uh, yeah, awesome. Sometimes I ask myself how the hell they find these glitches, right? Like, th that's the thing. We talked about like knowing a game really intimately. That's the type of thing that come like only comes with just spending hours upon hours looking at every possible thing you can think of. Um, oh, I know what that is. I know what the audio sync is. I can fix that. I can fix that. That ought to take care of it. <laughs> Go, yes, Ghost Stories is definitely worth redeveloping. Yeah, the, the, the audio thing should be fixed. There's there's like a weird echo whenever I... Um, is, it, is it my face? Is it everything? Is it that bad? Hang on. Uh, if it is, I can fix it. Streamlabs does that. Yeah, my computer for some reason had like a panic attack and it just was telling me it was using like a ton of RAM. I don't know what's going on. Let me fix a couple of things. This might do it. It is better now. Perfect. I'm going to just finish out my little cycle of fixies to make sure, to make sure, sure, but uh, filters. No, I believe it because this Streamlabs does that every now and then. And there we go. Okay, that should be good. <laughs> B-Boy says, so the annoying thing in some speedruns is when there is no useful glitches, glitches because the game is too well programmed and the devs just kind of look at you and go, that's right, bitch. Um, I do know that some folks, um, uh, Matty Thorson being one of them, purposely left in a couple of like developer shortcuts um, just, just for the purpose of making speedrunning Celeste, in this example, uh, doable or just just to kind of just just for it to be something that was found and it could be done which you got you got to love that right to, just to, to understand i keep thinking i'm playing metroid just to understand that your your community is going to want to speed run this game and going ahead and, and just leaving something in there to, to be found right uh you get you got to love that that's just such a cool little touch so props to them for uh for adding that in there we go okay perfect this is <laughs> It just inspired me to be a worse programmer. By show of hands, actually, I'm, I'm really curious about this. Also, I gotta swap this, I think, because I can't get across. Oh yeah, this is this is definitely some, I gotta do some switcheroos. Um, by show of hands, by the way, who here, and I can't, I can't raise my own hand, by the way. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, I can't raise my own hand here. But, but by show of hands, who here is, an aspiring game developer slash programmer slash has done something like that before. Let me know. I'm just kind of curious. Also, what do I? Oh, this is the close. There's just a button to close it. I gotta get across here, man. But I don't know a good way to do that. Um, why haven't have you? Why have you not given your PC specs in the about section? Because there's something impressive about it. It's a laptop, but I just I just really decked it out with a ton of uh, stuff. Also, here let me just help, the, help let me help it out real quick. I'll close out a couple of things maybe that are bogging it down. But it's just this. It should be fine. What is my PC doing, man? It's tired. It needs it needs just a couple hours of being shut down. Um, plus one programmer. But I don't make games. Raise hand. Lazy Knowledge says, nope, just a translator from novels and proofreader from manga. Lazy Knowledge, we got to give you a big salute. That is one of the most thank thankless jobs, to be a manga translator slash proofreader. That is, you are my hero, my friend. I, I got to give you a big one, a big, a big dap on that one. Um, I am one of the devs on the dark mod. Nice, awesome. So we, and the reason I asked that is because a lot of folks that have watched my videos in the past have, you know, I, I've, I've seen comments like, you know, this is the psychology game makers toolkit. I've seen stuff like, um, oh, I'm, I'm pinning this particular thing you said because I want to come back to it for a game I'm making. So clearly there is like an audience that watches my stuff halfway for like inspiration stuff to, to make games. People have asked me if I plan on doing a game and the answer is no. Um, maybe I can just drop a bomb and then maybe it'll go far enough to... Maybe I drop a bomb here and then it blows up something that I can't see. I don't understand why it would lead me here. Unless I need to... Hmm. Uh, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> of course, Lazy. 
uh, I have, uh, li okay, Bruce, Bruce says, I have very light programming experience and would love to make a roguelike or experience with VR title, but I don't have much experience. Yeah, that's, hey, and that's, that's, you're a mile farther than I, I, I have no programming experience whatsoever. Um, and I'm not ashamed of it, man. I just love this. I just love games. I like playing them. I like talking about them, as you can obviously tell. Uh, but now, to answer anyone's question that is, was thinking, is Daryl going to make a game someday? I know Mark Brown's actually making a game now. He, I, he has a whole new series, which is really, really awesome. Um, oh, I'm so stupid. I got to put a bomb in. The, no, no, that's not. That's not how that works. I actually have to stop the, the turbine, right? How do I? Hang on. Oh, father needs to do some thinkies. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Okay, so I'm actually trapped. I have to figure this out. It's not like I did something wrong before. The pillar? Let me check the pillar. Yeah. Um, Tony Pony says I plan to make a game on at some point, but it might be 20 years down the road or something. Hey, you know what? That's that's good perspective. Um, so many people, especially like my age and slightly younger are just so caught up in like, I have to have everything figured out. But just having the, having the foresight to go, yeah, in 20 years I might get around to it because knowing that you'll still be young at like 40 or 50, that's a, that's a big step. Oh my God, you're right. Who said the pillar? Super Pit Mario, that's exactly what it is. I gotta drop a, watch this. I gotta drop a bomb. This is gonna knock that, and that's gonna be a bridge. Mm, and you know why it's gonna be a bridge? Because they showed me before I walked across a bridge just like it. God, you're so fucking smart, Super Pepper Mario Pokemon. I said your name wrong, but you know what I meant, because you're smart. Um, posture check, thank you. Uh, this is Le Pix Pigeon 117. I don't know why I got French when I read that. Thank you, I appreciate that. I need the uh, <laughs> first time chatter. I need, I need the posture check, appreciate that. Um, Small issues include, I don't know how to code, except um, like super, super uh, minimal Python. See, I don't even know what that means, but that's awesome. Um, mad props. I uh, I have no programming experience whatsoever. I couldn't even tell you. I don't think I could program, what's something simple? A calculator. I could, uh, that's, that's probably not simple. I couldn't program Pong. I couldn't program a random number generator, I don't think. Like seriously, I don't think I'd have any of that in my uh, in my wheelhouse. Uh, I just like this stuff, I think it's cool. Can't tell you how to make it, but I can tell you what makes it successful. Pillars of success. Mm. I can only recommend to do game development as a hobby project because then it's 100% fun and 0% work. Uh, Skifu, that's a really good point. You gotta... <laughs> For example, for example, fun and not work. I will never be a musician, but I have decided because I would like to, um, honestly, just because I like learning how to play things, or I like, I like learning how to do new things, uh, I have started playing harmonica. And I can only play one song, you might recognize it. Hang on, I'll just mute everything real quick and you guys can maybe hear it. Maybe I won't fuck up, I've never had an audience, but keep in mind, I've only been playing like a week, so just give me a fucking, hey, just give me a second. You might recognize this. <sighs> Shit, huh? That's a thing I can do. Oh, the pressure's on. <laughs> um, they asked like the first. Song. It was it was that and row row your boat. Technically, it's two songs. I can I can do a couple of them. Um, wrong direction. <sighs> I keep sipping my water, and every time I do that, there's like less in the cup. What the fuck's up with that? Close enough. Yeah, see, those of you guys that actually understand music probably know I messed up. I'm playing in the wrong key or something. I'm sure I did something wrong, but damn it, I was, I was hitting them notes just a little bit there, right? Like I said, man, that's that's after maybe a week or two of, uh, of of not even serious work, just literally having it on my desk and like reading something while I practice. So, oh my god, I tried doing Song of Swords. So with, with the uh, speaking of with the if you don't play harmonica. Uh, I just learned this, so you might know. But you, you, you blow into each hole and you also, you suck into each hole as well. There's a there's inhale, exhale, right? And Song of Storm is like six exhale, six inhales in a row. It's like, and you're just sitting there with a blue face like, my God, I don't understand how people play my harmonica. You gotta get all, you got like you gotta really get in there, man, um, to like create that tight seal on each, uh, 
on each little 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 hole. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. See, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not. I'm a fake. I'm a fake musician here. Uh, okay, so we uh, attach that, and we attach that, and this opens that door. Do I want to go that way? I guess I want to go that way. I don't care to go this way, do I? Maybe I do. I guess I do want to go this way. That's fine. Um, I'm pretty sure my roommate's cat poops are against uh, Geneva Convention akin to flamethrowers and fire weapons. Non dairy sounds like you're on the struggle right now. I hope <laughs> I hope that works out. Um, lazy knowledge, yeah, I, exactly. There were so many things I thought about starting doing during COVID that just did not pan out. Have you played any other instruments? I played clarinet in my school band and flagged nothing else, RDC, nothing else. Uh, we had a piano in my house growing up and every, and occasionally I would do the but that's it. I never once tried to actually play it. Um, I hear you play the cash register now. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is this? What, why am I about to electrocute this pile of stuff? Okay, so I, I got a, there's a wire going this way. I need to come back this. Okay, so I gotta connect some shit here, maybe. Oh, now this one's open. What's what's down here? Ooh. Oh, I think I was here already. Also, can I just say I'm really digging this uh this kind of exploration part. It's it's very Zelda y now. Solve a little puzzle, find a little thing, hear a little jingle. Hear the bitches scream. I should have said seeing. That would have made more sense. But I had to go. I had. I had to rhyme it. I had to finish it out. Oh, look at this poster. This is very like Bioshock weird kind of fifties, <laughs> forties poster. Uh, super cool. Okay, so now, so every time I get this, I, I get confused. Oh, did I come from this direction? I think I might have. What am I, what is happening here? I keep getting this signal, but I don't know what to do with it. I may have come this way already. Yeah, I think I did. This is just opening up the back way maybe? Oh, oh, drag? Oh, true, okay, so now I... What, it's going crazy, man. That's right, that's right, it's a bonus. It, te it just tells it's an item finder. Okay, okay, God, I'm, I'm so dumb. Yeah, exactly. Super. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, that's exactly what it is. So that was the whole point of this was to come back here and, and find that. And then if I go, oh, what was that other door though? Did I already go through that? Hmm. Exit. Okay. That's right. It goes to this empty room that has nothing in it. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Uh, okay. We have more weird ads here. What are y'all playing right now, man? There's a lot of stuff that had, that has kind of just came out. Deltarune, of course, is not too long ago. Uh, Metroid Dread came out. Been playing. I played both of those. I, or I'm, I'm almost done with Metroid Dread. If you're just tuning in, love that game. My God. Uh, why? No, 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 retreat. I don't want to. Why did I do that? I could just kill him normally. I could just kill him. Why did I waste a bomb? What's wrong with me? I just got excited. <laughs> so that was my chance. Um, I played uh, uh, Metroid Dread. I'm playing Dread now. Played Deltarune. That's what the next cycle of play is about. Extremely excited about that. Um, I'm going to also. What is this? Uh, I'm not sure what's next. I probably need to get back to Atelier Ryza, just because I kind of, <laughs> I kind of promised Steven I would put like three more hours in it to make sure I don't like it, um, because I don't think I do. So I might mess with that some. I got a comic. I'm not sure. Just beat Ghost of Tsushima story. Oh god. So, so good. What a cinematic game Tsushima was. So I understand people's issues. A lot of people have the same issues they kind of have with Breath of the Wild in that it's just an open world and like you kind of just see the same thing over and over. Um, even though it is an open world, you know, it's the same, it's the same shit just scattered across the map. So I, I understand the whole, and plus it, it's an urgent situation, but also you're taking your time to get back to where you need to go. So I understand some people's gripes with the game. I didn't at first. I was like, it's good, fuck you. So I had I had like the Twitter vision on. 
Um, but I understand people's critiques with it now. But I will say, there's so much about that. There's enough in that game for me to love that it would be a waste of my time to bitch about the other stuff. Like, there are things about Metroid Dread that I, I'm kind of like, all right, I, you know, they kind of did this. Like, I think they kind of, it feels like artificial backtracking because you don't actually backtrack a whole lot in the game. I'm like 90% done with that, I'm pretty sure. And I haven't really backtracked, but maybe one time to get a bonus. It makes you feel like you're backtracking because it's very linear, but it the linear is jostling you all over the map. So it feels like you're constantly going to a new place, constantly going back to a new... And, and then you did actually technically go back to an old place at one point, but it changed because of a, a spoiler reason. So where, where did, I need to go back to the place I just was, where I had the, the cords. Um, but again, like there's so much to love about that game. Like, Why would I waste my time sitting and bitching about it? Immortals Phoenix Rising. So Immortals is an interesting game because I never played it, but it, they did they did so much like creator advertisement for it that it sort of made me question whether it was good. It, it's sort of like it's sort of the Raid Shadow Legends effect. Like maybe Raid is good. I don't know. I haven't really played it, but so many people have. <laughs> it, it's become such a meme that like it's been it's been promoted by creators. What the fuck is? was that it's been promoted by creators enough to where it just feels like the truth is being bought as opposed to like actual you know nintendo didn't need to do that with metro dread people talked about it because it was already that good right but when you when you facilitate the truth with lots of ads and you know promotions it kind of makes you think is it really good apparently it is a lot of people actually did like it L.A. Noir, interesting. I haven't heard of that. I haven't heard that name in a long. Time. It's like Obi Wan Kenobi. I haven't heard that name in many years. Yeah, L.A. Noir, that's a good one. I stay on my Genshin Impact lazy. I actually just got back into Genshin. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I just started playing a little bit. Um, start playing Deathloop. Says that. And that. Yeah, I, I really do want to do Deathloop at some point. Um, it just hasn't. It just hasn't found its way to me just yet. Uh, Super Pit Mario says, uh, Delta Rune, every time a new chapter drops, Toby Fox lives rent-free in my head for months. I know, like, I can't stop thinking about it. There's so much I'm going to tell you guys in, like, a week, a week and a half, man. Um, my God. I mean, Metroid Dread just had a heck ton of ads. Not, yeah, exactly, like, that is, that's clean, right? When it's advertised that much, that's clean. Um, but whenever you, whenever Buzz is created by, like, people being paid to talk about it as opposed to just commercials. Com you can do commercials all day. People don't mind commercials. They're just, you're just trying, it's, it's an ad. You're used to ads. Yeah, they did promote the hell out of it, but it was never like, we're running a promotion with creators because the second you do that, people are like, oh, creators are just doing this so that they can get paid. Um, it, it, it sort of like, again, it, like, it, 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 it tampers with the truth of whether or not it's good. Ooh. Oh, damn. We reached the outside world. There's grass growing and shit, man. Villager just been playing Celeste. Also trying to find uh, time to finish Eastward myself. Really, Villager, are you liking it? I'm, this game's really, really something, man. I, I hate that I'm having to wait weeks to week to week to, to play this. I kind of just want to knock it out. And Bruce makes a good point about Raiden. I never heard a promo for Immortals. I got it because I heard it was similar to Breath of the Wild. And I don't have a Switch. I really like it. Um, I know what you mean about the creative promos. But yeah, yeah, for sure. And, and it's, it's, you know, it it's just a perception thing. Could be great, you know? And I have heard enough good about it to where... And, and not 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 paid to tell me it's good, hearing that it's good, to, to say, oh, you know what? Maybe I should give that a try at some point. It's not going to be a priority, but I'll certainly have more of an open mind about it just because I've heard actual people that were not paid to tell me that it's good, that it's good. Um, but I have heard that. I've heard that, that more, you know, that uh, Phoenix is pretty good. I played, um, but yeah, Genshin, it is a gotcha, but it's a gotcha that actually feels fleshed out. And that's the thing about me. I, I fucking like gotchas. I do. I, I hate it about myself, but I do. I like playing gotchas. And um, it's a gotcha that's fleshed out. Like it just bought me back. I just, I, I it just kind of set in the back of my mind for a while, and I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna go back to it at some point. So I've been playing a little bit, not a ton. You know, there's better games to be played, but it's there. It's on my radar. I'm, I'm fucking with it on occasion. That's that's the that's the relationship I want with a gotcha. Um, but, 
true. We have <laughs> we have left Cockrock forever. I forgot about Cockrock. <laughs> I forgot about the whole talk we had about Simba and all that shit. That was ridiculous last week. Um, Tim Tam says all my all my YouTube recommends are Delta Room related, and I'm not mad. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about putting this psycho play out there. Honestly, I don't want it to get lost with the flood of other Delta Room content. But I'm gonna try to go at it again from the very psych perspective, and I'm gonna try to make a bomb ass thumbnail. So we're gonna see what happens. Yeah, see, Lazy, I don't even know who those are because I just, I'm just i so freshly back into it. I started playing it like the week it came out for like two or three weeks, and then I kind of fell off of it. So like I still have Lisa in my party. I still have, uh, who's the the one girl that shoots rocks and she has like long white hair or whatever. I have, I have her because she's pretty good. Um, I pulled somebody recently whose name escapes me. Uh, but I don't know. The names in this game, I... I, if, I'm, if I understand correctly, I and mean, please correct me if I'm wrong, but it's 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 from a Chinese company, right? Mihoyo, I believe. So a lot of the names are like Chinese esque, and those are just names that I don't know how not not that I don't know how to pronounce, but they just don't. I'm, well, actually, yeah, I just don't ever pronounce them, so uh, it's hard to memorize them. It's hard to come back and oh, I found the new part, yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ning Wang is that is that Ning Wang? Is that how you say it? She's pretty good. Um, <laughs> yeah, Trey Grafter, you don't want to know about the Cockrock Sim Simba thing. We had a whole conversation about furries and and and, <laughs> and there was a location in the game that I someone read as Cockrock as opposed to like something else rock. And uh yeah, it just a lot happened very quickly. <laughs> and I found myself putting my foot in my mouth. I was like, mm, actually let me clarify what I'm saying here. It's real fun. Genshin has the first like uh has like middle-aged names like Monstat, then Chinese ones like Lin. Yeah, ex exactly. It's, it's so like it's just a blending of so many different names. Then there's like Jean, which by the way, I can die happy when I pull Jean. All I want is to pull Jean. She's the only character that matters on my mind. I just want to pull Jean, but still haven't pulled her. Um, and I refuse to spend money on the game, so it's going to be a very long time until I do. Lovely. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's my goal here. I need just more. Ugh, I need more bombs, dog. Go ahead and pop a cap in this real quick. Ning Wong. Ning Wong. Okay, now I know. Yeah, so I haven't even got to, like, leeway yet. Oh, I shouldn't need the bomb. Um, I haven't even got there yet, but that's where they're telling me to go next. Like I said, I'm still super duper early. I've really just been exploring, which is kind of the fun part, right? It's just walking around. Also, I'm gonna let my dog out real quick. He really wants to, like, not be trapped in here with me. Give me just a second. Link, you wanna go out there? She mommy. He was like, please, for the love of God, just let me be anywhere else but in here. Mm, hell yeah. Uh, Trigger after, I'm not going to, I'm going to pretend I didn't just read that. Um, probably an unpopular opinion here, but I'd, I don't like how anime Genshin is, like the character models. You know what, B-Boy, that's fine. Um, that's fine, man. I'm just going to come back with you. I'm just going to respond with, I do. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. I'm quite a fan of it, actually. I'm kind of into this whole wire system, too. This is kind of cool. Um, but that's fine, man. You ain't gotta... There's nothing wrong with that. You like what you like. You hate what you hate. You are apathetic towards what you're apathetic to. And I, for one, am quite a big fan. Genshin's quality has been the highest in the leeway region, in my opinion. Puzzles and traversal are fun, and there are no annoying hazards. The music is so moody. I love it. Right, Tim Tam, you talking about this game? I do, too. The, the music in this game is really, really nice. This is very, um, very, like, dungeon-y type music. I gotta get this open. So it's a full, I gotta follow this wire. Which one is it? I'm just gonna keep finagling with these until... I kind of need you to move, Mr. Box. Can you please get out of my, get out of my house so I can see what I'm doing here? Okay, it didn't matter. Um, we gotta think here for a second. This wire goes this way, so this wire needs to be connected there, and this wire needs to go back this way. Oh, I need these two to connect. Actually, I have to take it back. This one, there you go. So this goes back this way. Oh, and then I've got to go back around. Oh no, I can't. Huh. Yeah, the music's. Mm. But yeah, as I understand it, they did polish Genshin, Genshin quite a bit in the time I've been gone. 
straight this way, come around, go back over and under. But where does this wire go? Oh, it comes out here. Ah, beautiful. Now we can progress. Yeah, and I kind of feel that way too. And it's been raining here all day too, so I feel I already feel kind of like uh, it's nap time. Time to read a book and get a blanket and smoke a cigar. I made that last part up. I don't smoke. <laughs> oh, mushroom! Oh my god, I'll chop them up and do them tonight. Bams. Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand why it's called Easter. I'm sure we'll understand at some point. That's a good question, the lazy knowledge. Uh, but a warning. Okay, so that blows the thingy, and then I, I'm gonna wait on that. Let's see if I can just drop a bam right there. Please explode, sinker. I'm going to open this. By the way, I'm curious. Uh, before we get to what I was actually gonna ask, why is it by the way? Why is that what it's called? I don't understand the the linguistics of by. Why, also, why didn't you swap? I need that bottom one to swap. It's not swapping. Why is it by the way? Is it like on your way to the grocery store? By the way, I don't. Oh shit! How do I? Oh, I got. Oh, I got. I got to go around. I see now. It makes sense. But what if I drop a bomb? That didn't do anything. I forgot what I was actually gonna ask now. <laughs> I don't remember what I was gonna do. Um, and then says the music is so soothing. All right, gotta go. Uh, gotta go sleep. Hey, and then we'll be back next Wednesday, same time. Take care. Sleep well. Enjoy your night. Sweet dreams, all that good stuff. Uh, okay, so what I gotta do actually is not be a dipshit. Blame, blame Red Hot Chili Peppers. That's a valid point, actually. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. Revelation. Oh, now he wants back in. The dog does. All right, let me see if I can cross the bridge. Yes, I can. Wonderful. I don't need to go back that way. That served its purpose. Now I go up this ladder. I climb left, right, left, right, left. Good. In this room, what do I have here? Refrigerator. A buy. Oh, I'm gonna buy things. Energy drink. Oh, I got lots of salt too. I'm very salty. It's life of a smash player. Refills your ammo. Refills your. Oh, I need a bomb pack. Yeah. For, let me get one of those. Ammo. I don't even have ammo. What do I have ammo for? I guess I'll get it. Energy drink. Oh, it's full. I really should have kept that. Whatever. It's fine. I'm not sure what the ammo is for, but cool. Open the refrigerator. Keep current. Oh, the fridge is gonna give me different messages each time. What's up, babe? I bring you a dog. Well, he wanted out, now he wants back in. Well, I'm oh, that's right. Well, have fun. So, he's coming back. Okay. He had to pee. Okay. So I got you. Well, Good boy, Binks. All right, love you. Love you. All right. <laughs> Callie walked in with the dog. Schnecky Poo is in here. What's going on, Schnecky? <laughs> I will never get over your fucking username, dude. Schnecky Poo has arrived. <laughs> if you're a fucking Smash character, Schnicky Poo flushes in. All right, keep the current. Um, yeah, so the the fridges. By the way, this is another touch of this game. The fridges in this game are how you save, and every time you save, you get some like Undertale bullshit where it's like something gives you something gives you determination. You're filled with the power of chicken nuggets, whatever it does you. The fridges in this game always hit you with some existential shit. So the first one said something like, "Here's you can save your progress, but once you leave and come back, will you still really be you?" Keep the so what's this fridge gonna tell me? Keep the current you here with me. Then, if you fall in battle, you'll be able to start anew from here. That's not so bad. Save your memories. Save. Game saved. Okay. The existential fridge, you know, for food. Yeah. Existential fridge is a really good username. Somebody's gonna use that. L R L R L R. Yeah, yeah. Man, I miss the days whenever it was uh. Cheat codes were actually a thing. Also, I really gotta pee. I drink a lot of. Oh, yo, cutscene. What's going on here? What's going on here? Oh shit! There's Sam. What's up, Sam? John, look what I found. Green on the bottom, and blue on the top. Oh my god! I think the rest of the game is gonna be in the outside world. We don't have to stay in this hellhole. 
Oh no. I thought we were about to go into a Final Fantasy VII type battle. Let me just leave a bomb, you can take that. Ooh, ooh, we got some. Ooh, ooh, you didn't like that, did you? Ooh, we finally got that Taco Bell. Ah, I get it now. I totally, it all makes sense. Yes, sir. Okay, now I gotta drop in the bomb for him. I gotta wait for him. It was too early. Shit. <laughs> I put myself up. Suck it up, suck it up, suck it up. Okay, that didn't help. I gotta wait for him. I gotta wait for him to suck. I gotta be patient with my suckies. Ah! Uh... Oh, shit balls. Okay. I didn't time it right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Think, think, think. Oh, no! Alright, he needs business. I don't know what this thing is. Yeah, boy, I take that. You like that? I'm gonna do anything for you. Mm. Ah, fuck, I'm just gonna wail on him. To hell with the charging thing. Ooh, 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 I don't like this at all. I'm very not okay with the situation. Take the bomb, take the bomb, take the bomb. I want that heart. Ah, damn it. Oh, I'm gonna die for sure. Should've known. Not enough bombs? Oh, come on, I'm out of bombs? God damn it. Okay, I really gotta figure out how to get in the bombs. I've, they've been dropping, but I just haven't been able to get to any of them. There's a bomb. Okay, great, great, great. Alright, start your suck in there, pal. I'm ready for the suck. Bring me the suck. Yeah. No, that you shot it. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Thank you. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give me some good. Ah. Oh, God. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, man, there's like no. I'm, I'm not. This is not going well at all. Are you gonna suck ever? No, you keep shooting. Stop that, you freak. That's not what you're supposed to do. Oh, you bastard. There we go. That's what I want. Yes, more of that, please. Bop, bop. I fucking talk to my daughter again. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's a pretty cool little boss fight, man. I dig this music. I dig, the, I dig his flashy, flashy eyes. I just get lost in his eyes, really. All right, so we shot a thing. That's fine. You can shoot things. I got plenty of bombs for your ass now. All right, shoots. Now he's sucky. And then he get it blowy up. The vacuum cleaner from hell. Why have a vacuum cleaner? You can have a Dyson. <laughs> and I just like that he's done. Oh boy, this is a long ass hallway. I got lucky. <laughs> if I'd have ran into a wall, I'd have been fucked. Let's go. Mm. Yes, sir. Max hearts increased. Great. Okay. Those eyes look like lights on a plane wing. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> Luigi would like a word with that robot. To be continued. Ooh. Ooh, I guess that was chapter one. Hey, Tim Tam. Hey, yo. Hey, Tim Tam. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for subscribing. Always a pleasure having Tim Tam in here. Proud member of the bench tower. John, where'd you go? This is a cutscene. I can't control the speed of these. I gotta pay attention. Uh, I won, but I'm really fucked up. John! John! What's wrong, John? Are you, are you okay? Oh, no. Oh, I'm hurting. Oh, Don't worry, John's gonna be okay. Is he gonna be okay? John? Did John actually fuck- Don't tell me John's gonna die. Is someone there? Help! Oh my god, I'm so upset right now. If something happens to John... Uh, who are you? I'm you, Sam. Please, please help John. I'm afraid only you can do that. The only way to see the light is to cut through the darkness. Wait. Cut through the darkness. What does that mean? He died doing what he loved. Hold to charge Sam's energy. Oh, this. I'm so stupid. Ooh. Oh, okay, I keep charging. 
now I'm now I'm Sam. I got a Sam icon now. You learned energy bubble. How does that help me though? What do I do with that? Dog. No, what about what about John though? Oh, that was cool. Don't, we're not just gonna pretend like John is not dead right now. How does Sam have a HP? That's a good question. I guess, I don't know. I guess Sam's got two people in her? I don't understand. Is this song, is this game written for mad crime material? I don't know. Brucini has redeemed hope. Oh, a hope. We haven't had a hope or a despair in a long ass time. Okay. Well, this is, a, I guess, a good stopping spot for that real quick. John. John. Wake your ass up, John. You want to go get your whiskey? Is that what you need? You need a little, you need a little drink? It's the smelling salts. Why are your shoes gone? It's, it maybe just looks like your shoes are gone. Justice for John? John cannot be dead. John hasn't said a word this whole time. He didn't even have last words. His last words were... That's it. That's all he said, man. John's like Terra from Final Fantasy VI. I'm playing Final Fantasy VI next year, actually. That's on our list of, like... We have a little, like, club, my boys and I do, of, uh... Of games that we're going to play together and react to together, and Final Fantasy VI is one of them because a lot of them, have, a lot of us have not played it. All right, I gotta go. Hope we need some hope right now. Brucinius is uh, coming through for us, blessing the chat with some wonderful lovins. Um, wonderful lovins is that the right terminology I should use? I guess um, we never found the timestamp earlier for this video. That's fine. I'll just keep it open just in case. Let me go over here, and I want to go to Reddit. I'm going to try to avoid all of my weird fan art that I have favorited on Reddit. Uh, okay, let's go to what I'm looking for. That's interesting, that headline. Oh, really? Oh, fuck. Sorry, I'm not reading the headlines. Um, okay, uh, wholesome, wholesome gifts. That's what we need. It's raining. <laughs> I know, but sir, it's not raining. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Love that. Love full milk. Okay, here we go. Feeding others before yourself. We have a baby feeding its little brother. Oh, look, he's gonna he's gonna get his little bottle. He's gonna bring it over to his brother. You you can have it first, buddy. That's adorable. Give me the bottle. Give me the bottle. Come on. Give, give me the gut. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Here you go. That's wholesome as hell. Taking care of his brothers before himself. What a good little guy. All right. There's one. If you're new here, by the way, um, Brasenia has redeemed hope. There's hope and there's despair. You can redeem hope if you want. If you redeem hope, we go to r slash wholesome gifts or r slash wholesome, depending on my mood, and we just look at things that are very wholesome. Three posts, makes me feel good. We get back to the game, takes about, you know, a minute. Or if you redeem despair, we have to go to r slash make me suffer, which is just shit you don't want to see. It's horrible. It's disgusting. It's degrading. It's filth. And we have to go look at three posts. So, um, I don't want the updates. Uh, so that's what that is, in case you're new here. Cassandra Brigerton transferred 27 dogs from Alabama to Orlando on a flight that likely saved them from euthanization. This is going to make my day. Look at this. Those little puppers get in the flight so they don't have to go die. Oh, look at them boys and good boys and girls. Look at them, man. Look at that one right there. He looks like a good boy right there. I like him. I like the one climbing. He's like, hey, let me fly the plane. I'll get us somewhere just fine. I'll bring us to an island. We can all just hang out and have a good time. That's, this is the best thing. Look at him. He's like, yeah, yeah, let's get there. Let me fly the plane. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, my God. I love dogs. Okay. That's enough of that. I can't do this too long. Um, so many buffers. Okay, here we go. And dogs are the best for us. The dogs are the best of us. Oh, look at him. He's, he's, oh, he's a pupper. He's got another pupper. It's dogception. Oh, is it, is it that poor, that, that, that other dog's like, please, please let me go. Oh, thank you, God. It was very sweet of you, but I don't like being carried by my ass. All right. Wholesome as fuck. Got to redeem our... Um, I thought we already had one open here, but... I go, we do. It's over here. I'll just close it. Um, and it looks like it may have already been taken care of. And it has. No, it hasn't. Mark is complete. Boom. Beautiful. All right. We're going to get back to the game. La bamba. Um, okay. The hair is distracting. Yeah. Um, it's raining Johns. The hair is so distracting. Talking about... And play that, I don't see it. You know, we're talking about Final Fantasy. 
All right, here we go. So back to the game. So now I'm Sam and Sam has this power. What? Oh, oh, Sam doesn't actually hurt. Sam just holds people in place. Holds that in place. That's interesting. That changes the dynamic entirely. Oh, and then you can absorb... There is no story here to be told via dialogue. It is... And the music? It is... It is telling you that, like, Sam is some kind of, like, weird purveyor of life or some shit, man. This is so interesting. What a cool... So you find life, and then it gives you energy back, and then you can use that same energy to, like, incapacitate stuff, but it's all the same mechanic. It's all, like, throw a thing. It's just the same button I'm hitting. So without giving us some weird backstory, the game has told us, simply because of how it's being played right now, what Sam kind of might sort of be. How damn cool is that? Okay, so I need to go this way, apparently. Oh, she's faster now. So freaking Sam's out here on some... I don't even have to be doing this, by the way. I'm just, I just like lighting them up. The Luminary, whenever she can cast Zap. <laughs> that, that feels like a Magic the Gathering joke. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's maybe it's a D and G maybe it's a D and D joke. Who the fuck is this? Another dead end. Uh, looks like it have to me to get her done again. Was oh, it Larry the Cable Guy? Get her done. You're gonna blow things up again, aren't you? You sure that's a good idea in here? Not to worry. I'll make sure to use just the right amount of blast powder. This is. I'll be honest, I wasn't super looking forward to this game because I've been enjoying Metroid Dread so much, but I, I'm really enjoying this game. This is this just all around is keeping me on my toes a little bit. You find a safe place to hide? Fine, I guess I'll give you another chance. It's a DQ joke. <laughs> it's... Dragon Quest, not Dairy Queen. Yeah, I really was thinking Dairy Queen. I was like, I, I can't remember. I can't recall a Dairy Queen ad where they were talking about luminaries and zapping people. It's just how stupid my brain is. B-Boy just swerved the shit out of me, making me think it was Dairy Queen. It's got this D&D shit. Dragon Quest. That makes sense. Because Zap, and the reason I, that I realized, I never played a Dragon Quest game, sue me, but I do recognize Zap being a spell in Smash that the hero uses. That's, wow, I'm so stupid. Looks like there was a slight miscalculation in the timer. Like always, you mean? Wow, Izzy. This is incredible. This is the discovery of the century. Where are we? A city? Are these two from like above the surface? John can't be dead. Jo he was fine. I won the fight. They did that post scene like after the fight where you just kick the thing's ass, but somehow you're mortally wounded. They did, they did the like Xenoblade Chronicles 2 shit where you, you fight what's your face and then turns out, ah, actually you won, but ah, actually you lost. Save me a, a, a bottle, okay? Oh, here you go. L oh, he's, he's drunk. L little Sammy. I've never been drunk. This is my impression of a drunk person. Uh, where did, uh, where did you just pop out of, huh? You pop out of a vagina? Were you just born? Were you born at this age? You a big baby is what you... This can't be good. <laughs> I'm just going to read these normally. I'm not going to improv for you. John. John is still down there. Morag, yeah. I, I know. I guess we weren't that high up. I guess we fell at some point. Oh, you know what it might have been was that long hallway was leading down or something. I, I guess, I, yeah, or maybe, I don't know, I'm not, okay, so John's cool, John is, look, John's, okay, John is moving. So I guess this game, you're going to swap back and forth between John and uh, Sam, okay, God. Yeah, I'm, okay, Bruce, I, I'm glad you said that, yes, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not just making that up, that's a real thing, that's a real problem. Just some scratches, they'll heal soon. The bigger problem is, they went to the Forbidden Land, the mayor finds out. John, I, uh, 
what can I do to help? Well, maybe just not run to the surface again, you dumb kid. <laughs> so the underground is our rest on the surface as Elysium. I guess so. I haven't actually played Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I don't remember. I, I did, but I did watch the whole damn thing. <laughs> I got to play the first one. I don't know what happens in the first one. I know they're connected in some way. Maybe, maybe they're not. Maybe that's a spoiler. Maybe it's not. Maybe they're not connected. I don't remember. Um, hey, what's going on, raccoons, man? Good to see you. Uh, this game's getting pretty good, dude. Uh, let's see. Some gel should do the trick. Gel, got it. Let's give him some gel. Um, play one first, not for the spoilers, but because one is better. I, that's what I understand, that one is better. And then three does not exist, but if it does at some point, um, I wonder if there will be three waifus this time. <laughs> Wouldn't it be something if they were like, nah, we gotta, how can we make it better? We gotta get six big breasts for you to look at the whole game. That, that would be, I would, I would expect nothing less from them. Um, the only one that might have something like that is that quack of a doctor at the bar. You mean Boguta? I got it, I'll ask him. All right, so let's go to Boguta and ask him for some salve for John, who is in fact not dead. Um, just a little bit. See, you can refrigerate your memories here, but when you take them out again, will the new you really be you? Yeah, that fucks with me. Yeah, I'll save my memories. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something else. Anyways, it's gone now. It's pretty good overall. You don't have to play the first one before the second, but each has their upsides. Oh, Daryl, you have no clue. Three is heavily hinted to be in production. Really? Interesting. Yeah, I know the, the lore of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is pretty, uh, pretty damn expansive. Hmm, I knew it from the start. You bring John nothing but trouble. See, now they're all going to blame Sam. I can't watch this, man. So, John's gone and gotten himself hurt, has he? Hmm, probably had it coming. Why is everyone here such an asshole? Okay, so I gotta find this doctor. Which, according to my map... Who is it from the Magic School bus that was always like, According to my research... But she never said research, she said research, like it was all one word. Is it Phoebe? <laughs> that was almost as really disrespectful. <laughs> But I held it in. Um, okay, let me go here. Oh. I was almost gonna call Phoebe a really, really bad word. There are many more than two, but 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 two. Well, yes, I know that, Bruce. But they, but, uh, but 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 many, but like but three. I can't get my words together. But I'm talking like three main. Yes, there was Nia. Yes, there was the other chick that had like the the that had the like. The, 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 the Chargers helmet on her outfit. It had like some zigzags. Sure, there was the big breasted bunny bitch. There was some really weird things in that, but I'm talking like main, like love interest for the main character. Is there gonna be three next time? Is there three in one? Is it gonna be a Russian doll situation where like there's certain, there's so many. <laughs> Research like it's all one word. Yes, like it's, like it's one move up the mouth it's one s syllable that's what that's called daryl whatever I, I'm, I'm done explaining myself to y'all we need justice for nia can y'all believe what happened to nia in that game i'm not gonna spoil it but let me just say this guys nia deserved better what are you doing here sweetie I'm gonna, let me read it like i'm a waffle house waitress what you doing here sweetie bogota already flew home left to find john don't tell me you didn't see him damn fool must have got lost again Go check the dick site. Who knows? He's probably wandering around down there somewhere with a bottle of booze in his hand and his dick in the other. All right, you got it. That's cool. I mean, uh, main party, there was Pyramid, Mithra, and Nia. Love interest, not, not fan service stuff. I guess that's true. I guess you could technically count Nia in that equation. I was just thinking um, the fact that Pyramithra, like, warped into one. Are they going to have a very similar setup except next game it's, like, three warped into one? And then another like Ichigo from Darling in the Franks character that doesn't actually get the love interest she wants. Xenogears? Ah, I gotta. The backlog just gets taller, man. What, you guys went to the Forbidden Land and John then got himself injured? He looked both ways. Don't you worry about a thing, that man. Don't you worry a thing about that mayor. Your secret's safe with me. I ah, appreciate you, man. All right, I gotta go to the dig site. So probably this is where I'm gonna learn how to, I'm gonna actually use Sam's powers a little bit. 
Yeah, I don't even. I can't even put a. I can't even put a face to Melia. But but Nia deserved better, especially how the, the grand fashion in which things went down. Just for him to. Let's see what this fridge says. If you were to get someone else's memory, would it be you? Would you be you or them? Well, now I've got to go stand in the shower for an hour and think about my life. These fucking fridges, man. Um, I need to go there to the tram. Ah, I tooted. I take a fart. If you fart and put it into a bottle and then put it in the fridge. Oh, I can't kill. That's right. That's crazy. If you take a fart and put it into a bottle and then put it in the fridge and someone opens it later and and then breathes that fart. Since they opened the bottle, are they the one that farted? Because they released it. I don't know where this is going. Well, looky here, if it isn't John's little girl. I was just on my way to come find you two. Though, I seem to have gotten myself a bit uh, lost. Huh, gel? Sure thing. Here you go. Oh, look at Sam. Yeah, I got the chill. <laughs> I love the fucking energy. All right. Also, whatever you do, don't say the words or bid and fay and lay in front of the mayor. Yeah, I got you, dog. These fridges have seen some shit. I know, man. What the hell? Almighty Backlog is a... That's a game review show? Okay. I, I fucked with that, actually, as a name. Uh, Bruce says, all right, Dan, it needs to be May, but remember that uh, in just one semi drinking sequence, we learned that Nia was really mad at Rex, but she keeps she kept it inside. Of course she was mad. Of course, First of all, enjoy, enjoy your supper, um, uh, Bruce, but of course she was mad. He really, I mean, at least, at least he had the decency. No, he didn't even have the decency. He's a little boy, man. He just was like, I can't say no, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna allude to the fact that it's really a no. That fucking Rex, dude. Could be honestly, Chugga is the only knowledge of Jungle Boy too. I don't think I've seen him go that far. There needs to be. Hang on, I hear something. Never mind. Um, yes, that is true. R Rex is like one hundred, like twelve years old. <laughs> the whole game. Uh, Watch Memento. That was a lazy. Memento. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen Memento, if you want a good illustration of anterograde amnesia, meaning you cannot make new memories. I don't want to go this way. I'm trying to find my way back to go upstairs. I think I just missed the exit twice. Yeah, if you want a good, uh, like a pretty accurate portrayal of anterior grade amnesia, Memento is a really good movie. Oof, I don't think I can go much longer. I think I've really got to go pee. I might have to show you guys the urinal guy. Ooh, let's go, super. Yeah, I uh, I got Xenoblade Chronicles 1 somewhere. I, we're, we're packed up, but I, I got Xenoblade Chronicles 1 sitting somewhere waiting to be played. And honestly, if Atelier Ryza, because I got, I, I told Steven I'd give it a fair shot. I'd play a couple more hours into it. Um, did y'all see me just clip that door weirdly for a second? What the fuck was that? Um, I got to uh, best Chris Nolan in my opinion. It might be. It's definitely up there. Um, the way he, the way he can fucking piece together a story is just, it's, it's uncanny how well that man can put together a a movie in such a way that it keeps you guessing the entire time. But anyways, Zombie Chronicles 1 is definitely going to probably be my next JRPG that I play um, after I finish my little experiment with Atelier Ryza. Uh, see what you listen to John now, little Sammy. Uh, you, oh, I gotta go back to John. What am I doing? I gotta go back to John. Hey, what's going on, Evie? Good. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We've been missing you. We're glad you're here. Been playing a little bit of this Eastward. 
recap real quick for you. John got hurt because uh, Sam went up to the surface. John went and rescued him, and now we, we went and got some salve for John, so now we're gonna go help him out. Yeah, exactly, Super. They're just, it's it's, it's that Nintendo $60 meme. Like, yeah, to me, the game I've got so far in Atelier Rise of, which is the first one, it was good enough to get a sequel, apparently. Um, but uh, it's not been a $60 game to me, even though that's one I paid. I should have tried to find it on sale, but I wanted to try to knock it out. But that game is extremely, eh, extremely mid so far. But we'll see. I got to give it a chance. I got to get further in the game. Last time I played it, I had COVID. So, like, I, I was predispositioned to kind of be like, oh. So, maybe, maybe. We'll see. I, I will reserve too much judgment. Then we've done all we can do. Is is John gonna be okay? That will. <laughs> all right, Sarah. We'll take care. Uh, see you in a bit. Uh, depend on John himself. Also, who is this car man? I still don't understand. John. Hmm. Really, Effie. Okay, you played I the Sodmian Falls, huh? Man, I, that fuck it. That might be my next JRPG. That might be the next stream game. To be honest with you, after this one, that's they're just so much. They they work really well on stream. It's just, they're just so story heavy. John, John, are you up yet? Uh, look what I found. Come on, John, hurry up. <laughs> Lazy says I had that on my pile. Yeah, it's been on my pile for a while. I got a purchase that's just sitting on the switch waiting. Just waiting. What is in the toilet here? <laughs> I like that. That's cool. That's a good feature. I like that. Okay. Back. <laughs> Moving on. I don't know why I was so damn pre predisposed to oh he going to heaven oh he didn't walk towards the light i know i straight up lazy i need to lock down bad if i'm gonna get caught up anytime soon Ooh, what's going on john is fucking dead dude this is he went to heaven dead <laughs> i know <laughs> i'm not controlling him by the way this is a cutscene. Flamingos. Oh, I love the flamingos. I didn't know flamingos can fly. That was a stupid thing to say. Of course they can fly. I, all I ever see flamingos do is just stand there and have one leg up and like, like dip their tongues and shit and get water. Of course flamingos fly. You dipshit. <gasps> this is the surface. When did we get here? Oh my God, look how beautiful it is. I've never been above the, 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 the on earth before, below the, above the ground. This is beautiful my god look at that hmm i'm in my feelings right now kind of how is this possible this has to be john's dream before he dies right birds <laughs> sam looks sam looks at the birds what the what are those they're so beautiful <laughs> bird poop i just <laughs> right in her eye i got shitted on by a bird walking into walmart one time it was the worst experience of my life I had just like gelled my, I was in high school, I had just like gelled my hair and I had like, it's just a tuft of, of, you know, it was all spiked up, right? It, it, it kind of exactly how I do it now. I haven't changed. I'm like Will Smith. I had my spirit hair spiked up and there was just a, just a right here, right here. And it just weighed me down. Is this credits? Is this the first ending? Or is this like the prologue is now done? Go enjoy the game. I feel like I beat it now. John must have found some weird mushrooms in the hallway. Yeah, this has to be like, now you've actually got to the game, right? There's no way this is the end. Hey, what's going on, heavy guy? What's going on? Good to see you, Mitch. Thank you so much for following, man. Uh, oh, by the way, Mitch, I, I saw, I haven't actually watched it yet. Your your latest video, I forgot the name of the game, but um, it's, it's sitting in my watch later. I don't know what it is. I saw like the first 10 seconds, you know how when you're scrolling on the mobile app, it shows you like a preview. Whatever that game is, looks beautiful. And I need to I need to watch your videos and figure out if I want to play it or not because it looks amazing. Uh, but thank you for being here, man. Big fan of your stuff, John. You have to get better, John. 
Once you're better, we'll we'll go to okay, so this is this she was just imagining what that was. We'll go to school together and, and play Earthborn together, and then and then John will go to the surface. Hmm. Unsighted. Yeah, that game looks really, really good. I can't wait to watch that. When John finds a mushroom, does he become super John? I would yeah, that's logically you would imagine so, right? Just you and me. Oh, I, I get the feeling that's not going to happen, Sam. This, this this would not be a good story if... Well, it would be a good story if it had a happy ending, but it's going to be tough getting there. And here's our conflict. Mayor Hoffman, oh my, if it isn't little wa the little waif herself, don't you ever call my daughter a waif. I swear to God, I'll take that fucking pink jacket off you and wipe my ass with it and shove it down your throat. Uh, <laughs> no need to worry, my dear. I'm only here for John. This guy is... I'm not a fan. You don't look so bad. And here I thought you'd gotten yourself seriously injured. You know, I've always liked you, John. I don't believe that for a second. No, really. You're, how should I put it? A workhorse. Um, also just popped in to say what's up and follow because I didn't know you streamed. You gotta run down to the shops, do some chores, but I'll be lurking in a bit. Hey, all right, man. Take care. Yeah, I'm glad you could drop by. We do this every Wednesday, and um, it's <laughs> slowly had people trickling, and it's fun. I, I don't really care how many people show up. It's just it's just a good opportunity to like sit and chit chat, and you know how it is, man. But you just had to go there, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, so for whatever reason, the mayor does not want anyone going to the surface. At least to what? What did he say? At least to? Oh my. Aren't you a chatty Cathy? See, one thing about this game is it skips dialogue boxes. It just, it, it doesn't skip them, but it reads them fast. And I have to like actually, I have to like actually pay attention. Sometimes it'll let me press A and move them on, but sometimes it goes by itself. Do you have any idea, girl, just what kind of position this puts me in? You've made the mayor look very bad. And when the mayor looks bad, this makes him, I like to imagine he has the same, I can't do it that vo this voice, but I like to imagine he has the same voice as Lord Farquaad from, uh, from Shrek. Some of you may die, but that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. And when the mayor looks very bad, this makes him very angry. How, how to write this wrong then, hmm? We didn't do anything wrong. In fact, John got rid of all the monsters in there. Oh, did he? Impressive, John. Very impressive. You know, that actually reminds me of something. Yes, I know the perfect place for the two of you. Guards? Oh, fuck, he's calling the guard. He better not send us to jail. We know these guys. Oh, no, we don't. These are the, these are actually like his people. They might actually do something. Ooh, get in there. Okay, well, at least John is, like, up and walking. That's that's at least helpful, even if they're being thrown in jail. We're just gonna dig out of here. We brought Seamoon along. We're gonna dig out. It's fine. <laughs> no, dearie, how could you clip that? I was basically the I was basically the kid that was, like, um... Have you ever had a dream that you could, that you would, that you, and you could, and, and the, that you could do the, and you could... I was basically that kid, man. Damn, Mayor, man, you hear, you hear, uh, yourself back there? Art, I tell you. Look at this kiss ass. The fake John, his name is Jan. You made the year, you made the look, you made the mayor look very bad, and when the mayor looks bad, this makes him very angry. Nothing can rattle the bones like an old, like our Mayor Hoffman. I can't even look like half as scary, even on my worst days. That old John probably pissed himself clean through the, through his skivvies. I don't know where I, oh, he did, okay. I thought I misread that, but I guess I didn't. Enough. It's almost time for the banishment. Oh, hell yeah. If that's if it's jail or banishment, yeah, banish me. Fuck this. I'm out of this town. This town sucks. Go and prepare. Hell yeah. We, we getting banished, boys. Let's go. Let's go. I've been waiting for this the whole damn game. I'm ready to get to the surface. I'm tired of this shit. Him and his ugly ass tiger rug he's standing on. I'll get you. I'll get out of your hair then. Wait. You need something else? I want to rehearse a bit. Rehearse, sir? Yes, rehearse. What? What am I watching right now? Oh, spare me. Please spare me, Mr. Mayor, sir. Oh, he's really just 
He's really just went, abandon all hope of air coming back. <laughs> he didn't even say ever. He said air. Of air coming back. For I have come to take you to the world above. All that awaits you now is, fr <laughs> is fresh air, sunshine, and nice beaches and birds and the sound of the water trickling through the river. It sounds horrible, doesn't it? Darkness, hellfire, and blistering cold. I guess it's cold. No longer will your feet tread on the sanctuary's land. Nay, beneath your steps shall lie naught but poison. And I don't think you understand what the surface is, man. And, and the malevolent grip. He's just gonna banish his own coworker. I know this is this is weirdly charming, but also like this guy's he's he's a good heel. What can you say? He sucks, but also he's kind of funny. Anytime, good guy or bad guy, if you can make someone kind of funny in a weird way, it, it automatically adds to their character. Of an endless, unceasing miasma. You know, now I kind of now I kind of want to pretend he's like Doctor Evil. You know, miasma. We're surrounded by liquid heart magma. Great boss just exiled his best worker. <laughs> exactly. What is he doing? Isn't isn't like John seriously one of his best people? How was it? This guy sucks. It was magnificent. Brilliant. It was going to be some word like that. Brilliant. God damn, my legs are still rattling. Good. Yes, a bit of pra a bit of practice can be effective now and then. Hmm. Okay. So we just witnessed him rehearse being a bad guy. We will, then, we will shoot him with a laser. And using this laser, he'll never return to the underground again. <laughs> I cannot, God damn it, non dairy. <laughs> All right. Um, talk to John. Hey, what's up, John? John, I got shit to say. No problem. Is there a urinal? Is there. Can, I, can we Shawshank Redemption our way at it? Who the fuck is that? Stop right there. Stop right there. Don't touch my baby. I don't know why I want to give him this voice. Jasper just looks like he just talked like this. Huh? Who are you? Don't be too surprised. It's me, Jasper, the one-man show. He's William Shatner, too. I love his hair. In the flesh. He's going to stand there and pose, or... Shocked? A one-man show, huh? What's that? No, don't tell me. The people have already forgotten me. Yeah, man, looks like it, but that's okay. Get ahead of dinner, pizza this time? Hell yeah, pizza. Mm, what kind of pizza though? Ah, it's fine, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta disclose your toppings. I, I, I trust it's not pineapple and, and anything else, really. So, B-Boy, as always, a pleasure. Uh, anyways. You called this your baby? Doesn't look much like a baby to me. Damn, I got my notifications is going crazy over here while I'm streaming. Golden eyes like spot, golden eyes like spotlights illuminating the crime in the darkness. Fresh blood, a vivid, a vivid testament to the battle that had transpired. None other than Earthborn, the Night Stalker. Earthborn. This is Earthborn too? No way. That's so cool. You like Earthborn? I'm gonna stop doing his voice. You like Earthborn too? It's only my favorite. Aw, oh, look, Sam made a friend. Hi, I can't see. So I guess everyone here is getting banished. That's as high as I can go. W what do you weigh, a thousand pounds? What did you say? What's going on here, huh? Karota? Oh, her friends! I just polished a bag of chips, salted. Ooh, I need some chips, man. I've been craving chips for hours. That's Karota's voice. Sam. She's in there. Oh my god, the kids are gonna break it out. Including the kid that was being bullied. Ah, oh, that makes me feel good. They didn't catch you guys too, did they? Sam's in there. Youch, that's my head. Sorry. Oh, poor Daniel. Hurry up already. Sam, big guy said he wanted to give you something. It's it's a lucky you get lucky coin. It, it belonged to my my dad. Maybe it'll come in handy. Just be confident in yourself. How, how am I supposed to get it in? Just throw it through the door. Throw it like a little... It's Captain Tiger. Run for it. You idiot. Let me do it. You idiot. Let me do it. Okay, so there's the coin. Lodged into the wall somehow. Damn, he threw it that hard? 
It went through. Oh my god, the poster, Night Stalker, the fucking here. Oh, we getting out of here, boys. It's a jailbreak. John, John, look, John, John. There's a hole, John. John, look, look, John, John, look, John, hole, hole, John, John, hole, John, hole, 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 John, John, look, hole. Hell yeah. Obtained lucky coin. Now let's get the fuck out of here, man. Whoa. Ooh, is this a danger? Oh, we might be near the surface. Breaking out of prison. Hell yeah. Very much a RPG move. Look, John, look. John, look. Oh, John. Danger, John. John, look. Danger. Danger, John. Jasper's like, wait for me. Jasper, danger. Look. Jasper, danger. John, look. Jasper, Jasper, look, John. Danger. She just turns into like <laughs> the fucking robot from Lost in Space. Danger, Will Robinson. Where's this place, Jasper? Here? I can't say I know either. But every night, I would hear the strangest of hissing noises coming from here. It would get so loud, I'd have to use my Night Stalker to block it out. Jasper, what are you saying? You'd use your Night... Oh, Night Stalker. What are you talking about? John, let's go explore. John, explore. <laughs> you never know, it may lead outside. Such a dumb... Okay, so... Okay, so we... Can I swap, perhaps? Can I swap between them? No. I was just thinking, maybe I can swap. Open. Those secrets you keep ought to thank you. Secrets are only secrets because you know them. Save your memories? The fuck? Yeah, I'll save, sure. Game saved. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Sophie, because I was just sitting here like, no, I'm saying anything, and I thought, oh boy, this might be a dumb bit. Okay, that did not a damn thing. It's one of those things, man. You, one, one aspect of comedy is you just keep going with it until it becomes a thing. It's extremely deep. Just keep going with it until you get a laugh. And just keep iterating on it. Eventually, it'll be funny. Underground tunnel. Ooh. Okay. Walk around. Can I? No, I can't enter that. That's fine. I just gotta watch it. It's the stick of steam. Steam sticks. I turn power off, I turn power on, I no touch it at all. Oh, there it is. Now the power's off. Break some bottles. Yeah, I'm sure there's a list out there already that exists of these like different fridges and their uh let me put that there. And their weird sayings, you know. Can I Oh, you know what I gotta do? I bet I gotta go here. I gotta get a doo-doo, and then I go come around here. Oh guys, so I saw today, um, for those of you that give a damn about this franchise still, which I would imagine there are quite a few of you, Pokemon, um, I'm extremely, I saw some news on Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl today, and I am extremely on the fence about Pokemon as of late because, um, I'll come back to this. Looks like it's up to me now. Okay, so now we swap. This is where they're gonna teach me how to swap. I, okay, I thought it was gonna be the triggers. So, oh, that's so fucking cool. And then I swap, and now it's John. Anyways, I've been on the fence about Pokemon because I can't decide if I want to try this new thing that they're going to do. Because I don't know if I'm going to buy both games. Both games being Arceus and um, uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. I can't decide if I want to try the new one and then not get Brilliant Diamond or what. But either way, I can't see myself playing two Pokemon games back to back that, that quickly, right? This is too heavy. That's a shame. Oh, but if I swap, it's not. Um... So I'm having this conflict of like, I really, really like what I'm seeing with Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Really, really like it. Um, it looks clean. I watched the gameplay thing today. I think it was maybe GameStop to put it out. I don't know. Um, they put it out today. Sorry, Daddy's thinking. Um, ah, I see now. And it looks good, right? Like, so there's an experience share. Like, I think the game might still be kind of tough. Um, it just looks good. I, I really liked Gen 4, everything about it. It had me very intrigued. Um, but I can't decide if I want to go that route because of nostalgia or if I want to try Arceus because it's new. There's a key. Uh, I can't decide if I want to try Arceus because it's new. And it's a new formula and it might be different and apparently it's not truly an open world. There's news about that, the controversy about that. But either way, it's new, right? It's a different type of Pokemon game. And that has me intrigued. But I can't... I'm, I'm so stuck between 
do I want to try this new thing or do I want to just go straight for nostalgia if I'm just going to pick one? Now, realistically, I'm probably going to be a weak bitch and, and, and just buy both because why not? Um, but if I had to pick one, I really can't pick, I, I can't decide what I would pick. It's, it's kind of uh, a tough call. So I don't know. Um, what are y'all going to do? I, my, my main issue with Arceus, and the reason it's not outright Arceus, is because I don't, I'm not impressed with the gameplay that I'm seeing. Like, it should be beautiful, but it's not. Like, I saw that open world, they had like a zoom out over a lake, and it just, like, I, I don't know how to put this, it just didn't look good, right? Like, I, I can't explain it, I don't know if it's cell shading, I don't know enough about animation. To tell you why it looks good. Some people are saying it's like a style choice. But to me, like, if even if it is a stylistic choice, if it if it doesn't look good, it just doesn't look good to me, man. Like if if it's not appealing to me, I don't care if it's a stylistic choice or not. Like stylistic choices for like uh Link's Awakening for Switch. That was a stylistic choice. And I like that. But you could like shit on a piece of paper and be like, this is art, this is a stylistic choice. That's great, but I don't like it. <laughs> like, I, it doesn't do anything for me. So, yeah, sure, maybe it's a stylistic choice, but to me, it just looks like they're, they're just, we have to get an open world as, as quickly as possible type beat. Um, and that's discouraging. I want them to really take their time and make this look beautiful. And they can. They have the fucking money. They have the resources. This is all stuff you've heard before, by the way. I'm just kind of rehashing it, but, man, I, I am so, I want Pokemon to be great. But I'm leaning towards Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl just because I know I like that region. I like the music. There's just enough that I know I like to where I'm willing to try it, you know? But hey, that's just me talking. Same story here. I probably got RCS. This is um, INDW. I just want to give Pokemon a chance since they're finally doing something new. Exactly. Like, you have to reward the effort. Like, if. And, and look, maybe. Maybe. Oh, that's cool. Um, maybe Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl is going to be, uh, excuse me, maybe Arceus is going to be great. Maybe it truly will be a delightful experience. And even if stylistically it is not quite to my liking, it'll still be fun as fuck to play, you know? Um, that's my hope anyways. I'll probably end up buying both, but we'll see. Okay, so now I gotta... How do I... Hop across. No. Oh. Uh, oh, maybe I can just put a bomb down then. Will that turn it? It will. Beautiful. But I gotta get across really quick. This is. Oh shit! It's like really timed. Okay. Faza needs a little bit of the timing here. Yeah, boy. Yeah, key, boy. Hand me that key. Ooh, another key. You know I love. Can't wait for Arceus. You know, I really, really want to... I really want to say that, too. I really want to say I can't wait, but I just... I'm not super duper feeling it yet. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the reviews will come out, and everyone's like, dude, it's must play. Maybe my friends whose opinions really matter to me. Maybe you guys will get on here and tell me, hey, man, you got to play Arceus. It's, it's absolutely worth it. And hopefully that'll happen. Uh, Ed Meliora is in here. What's going on, Ed? Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. We are playing a little bit of Eastward. The life of a little game so far. Kinda kinda Zelda dungeony in a lot of aspects. Wholesome little story, fun characters. It feels honestly to me like a cross between Mario Mario and Luigi, like the like the Superstar Saga, the RPG series they have. It feels like a cross between that and um like Link's uh, a link to the past. It's kinda where I feel. Um the lag. How do you? Hang on. How does anyone even use Twitch on a phone? I've done it several times. I don't know. Maybe I just have a good signal. I can't explain that. But I, I don't mind Switch on the. Uh, I don't mind Twitch on the phone rather. I'll wait for the views on Arceus, but the style of DP remakes are super not jiving with me. I, I get that. Yeah, I don't know if the chibi style is is for me or not. Um, but. I think what honestly it is that it that is doing it for me is that we kind of just we we've taken a step back 
to say, all right, now we're going to do it this way. We're going to go back to, even if it is chibi, I, I understand that that may not vibe with everyone. Um, oh, this is an interesting little puzzle here. Aha. Um, but I just like that it, it, it's kind of going back to that top-down perspective. I kind of like that it looks like an old-school Pokemon game. Uh, and and the, bat, the battles are, you know, pretty nice as well. As I understand it, which I found this out today, apparently they knew, and this is a big critique of mine for all the Pokemon models, that apparently they made new animations for different types of moves. So, like, in the past, if they didn't have, you know, like, Tail Whip, right? Instead of the Pokemon just turning, apparently they've actually made specific animations for certain moves. Um, so instead of, like being used for fire blast now they're using for a scratch and then like bleh, for a fire blast so apparently they have added some new animations which is incredibly encouraging to me um yeah and see i ang dw says i actually like the chibis on the remake exactly like they're to me the remake just feels like there's a fuck ton of game in it actually like it, it and i think it's because they outsourced it right i don't think game freak is making this one i believe they outsourced this to another developer which that is incredibly exciting to me that gives me big time. Oh, I know what I gotta do. I gotta turn this off. I come back through here, turn that on. God, this is a cool little puzzle. I like this. And I do that. Now I come back here. Shoot the rock across. Oh, that's an That's nice. Stoned to death. Uh, hot take. Uh, oh, oh, raccoons. I'm so glad you said this. Um, hot take. I want Pokemon to move back to the GBA graphics. So there's a whole video I saw. Um, what's the guy's name? It's like the Capanilla effect. He talks about anime animation mostly. Um, Capanilla effect. Can we? Can, I forgot the, the name. It was escapes me. But uh, this person did a, a video, and I don't know them. Um, but this person did a video on why Pokemon graphics need to go back to the digital you know, to, to like the GBA-esque style. And even if it's not GBA, this. Like, if you gave me a Pokemon game in the style of, like, Octopath Traveler, oh my god, I'd be... And that, that was what made it cool, was that, like, you could... Because it's so much easier to just have sprites than it is to have giant 3D models, you can have as many Pokemon as you want. It's easier to pump out new Pokemon. It leaves more... When you fully animate a Pokemon, right... It leaves so little to the to the to the imagination. It's exactly how it shows itself is, right? That was a weird way of saying that, but it's exactly how it says it is. But with you know, with like pixel graphics, or excuse me, pixel art. Um, I love this. It's so cool. With pixel art, it's very different because it leaves so much to the imagination. Uh, it's, I mean, it's like a Delta Room, right? Right now, like it's 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 doing extremely well. Uh, and it guess what it doesn't need it doesn't need crazy graphics it doesn't need fully animated xyz um simply having stylistic pixel graphics is enough uh and man wouldn't it be cool to see pokemon take a step back and do really capitalize on that nostalgia by going back in time and using that also we just gave birth by using our powers here these things are gonna have to back off though because i got my daughter with me I got my daughter and she's allergic to scorpions. Okay, so I, I guess I have to be careful with what she activates. Hang on a second, let me just see if I can get out of here. I'm actually kind of in a tight spot here. Um, okay. Oh, please, fuck off. Ah, chill, 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 chill. Ah, goddamn, leave her alone. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is a fucking spider web if I ever seen one. Get out of here. Oh my god, I'm so nervous right now. If anything happens to the... Oh, no, no, no. God damn it. I have... I got a heart. Hang on. I, I know y'all want to say things to me. <laughs> but I got... Like, I could just say spot. Okay. Oh, that was... That was stressful. Um, anyways. Yeah, yeah, So that's good. Uh, god, yes. Imagine, like, really nice sprite work. Kind of like this game for new Pokemon games moving forward. God, exactly, Sophie. My god, that'd be so perfect. Um, black and white pixel style art would be good. Yes, the, the black and white pixel style was so unique. I had never seen, like, pixel style quite like that. It, it just was, I don't know, something about it was strange to me. It's someone that knows animation could explain why. Um, Rascal Red is the best Pokemon game I've ever... Radical Red, not Rascal Red. Radical Red is still the best Pokemon game I've ever played. I assume it's a fan-made one. 
Um, but yeah, the, uh, man, I mean, uh, Effie says gotta go. Just got a chicken. Ch oh, that sounds good. A chicken sandwich from Popeyes? Effie, we, me and you might be best friends without realizing it. My God. I love some Popeyes. I haven't had Popeyes in a hot minute, though, but my God, it's good. The biscuits are so dry, but they're so delicious. They're fucking good. Um, but you can take damage, too, and they share health. I tried to use her as a meat shield. didn't go great. Cool. Thank you, several. That's good to know. I don't think that would work with Pokemon, but I fuck with the style. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it would. Maybe it wouldn't. I would just love to see that, you know? Um, Radical Red is fan-made. Popeyes goaded. Oh, hell yeah. Are you kidding me? Popeyes is so good. What else is good? What else is good? Fried chicken. Canes is good fried chicken. Um, Chick-fil-A. So unique. Chick-fil-A is kind of, uh, but it's, I don't really look at Chick-fil-A like fried chicken, even though it technically is fried chicken. It's, just, it's not the same. I don't really put it in that category. But I would say, yeah, oh, this is where I was before, right? Wait, I gotta get to this thingy. This is where I need to go. Okay, so I need to get around to them. <sighs> Away from my daughter. Oh, there it is. I can I just, I just walk up here. Oh, churches is okay. Um, bushes is really good if you have a bushes. What else is good? Um, there's another one that's uh, Zaxby's is, is all right. I've had Zaxby's a couple times. There's one more place that I'm that I'm blanking on the name of, but I've had it and, and loved it. Canes? No, it's not Canes. Said churches. Golden chick is fucking good. Golden chick is so so greasy and so bad for you, but golden chick is next fucking level. I'm like five minutes from a cane. I've never had it. Oh you, oh please. You need to. You got to try the cane. What makes it is the cane sauce. The chicken is actually pretty middle of the road. I would say it's just above being like mid. Um, but oh the sauce though, the cane sauce. I could drink it. I could drink it easily. And open this door up real quick. Okay, let me get back around. Oh shit, that's not gonna be fast enough. How do I? Oh, you know what I gotta do? I gotta leave a bomb. Mm-hmm. Boom. Ooh, I gotta read this paragraph about Radical Red here in a second. And then we walk through. Yay! Now I can get back, no problem. The Texas Toast. Oh, the sauce. Oh! Oh, it's the next level. Uh, we got a cut scene, and then I'm gonna read what uh, Raccoon said. The exit. Look, John, look, the exit. John, the exit. Look, John, John, the exit. John, John. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh, fuck. You again. Out of my way. I'm not listening to you again. I'm only listening to John. John, look, my, my doppelganger. John, my doppelganger. Do you see them? They're red. I'm blue. John, do you see? She said, uh, she's the thing. Oh, I don't, I don't know about this one. Ha. Go after her. If anything were to happen to her. I'm worried about that, what he just said to me. Whoa, John, John, whoa, John. Look, John. Look what I found, John. How did, how did she get through there? The door wasn't open. What? Sam is like an excited puppy. <laughs> Same, we won't have that much fried chicken in the places other than KFC. Oh, KFC's fine. Yeah, KFC's there. You know, KFC exists. Um, some people, I have I have, fam I have family members, though, that just swear by KFC. And to me, it's very, like, just there. Um, okay, this is a, a paragraph about uh, Radical Red. Because I, I don't know what this is. Several says, uh, Radical Red is, is fan-made. The creators made the game from adults for adults in terms of difficulty. They also grabbed all the best mechanics of other Pokemon games, and they added like 600 poke ish Pokemon from later games in the series. Huh. Now I've got to look this up because um, I love looking things up and having open tabs on my phone. Radical Red. Pokemon. Cool. Gonna keep that in an open tab. Look at it in a bit. Shnicky Poo says, uh, not Blue, Shnicky Poo says, uh, Play Farm did a full breakdown of Pokemon animation. Uh, back, on, back on white did skeletal deformation. That's what it was. It was like pixels were facing this way, but they could move like this and stay square. It was really strange. That's what I remember being weird about it, um, which makes it even makes even pixel art looks much more lively. It lets pixels art be charming like we remember, but it also makes the Pokemon alive, unlike the static images from the first four generations. Yes, exactly. One thing I'll also say that I about Pokemon is that the battle camera... 
I was spoiled by Pokemon Coliseum because the battle camera was just like everywhere. It was doing everything. It was up on a Pokemon, then it was away, then it was around, then it was like coming across the you know the the players the, the 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 characters eyeballs like you know that dramatic like you know that ooh here I come ooh I'm coming to get you like that type of shit. It, it did that. It, it was above the battle, around the battle, and the Pokemon call, and it was zoomed out well enough to where it felt like you were in a big space. Can I just say that it felt nice because it felt like you were in a big space. Black and white, not black and white, um, X and Y and Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield and Brilliant, Brilliant Shining Diamond, the, 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 the remakes, I'm blanking on the names all of a sudden, they feel too, they feel too cramped. Like they feel like the, the camera's like right the fuck, like the camera's right the fuck up on the Pokemon. It just feels cramped. I would like to see like a distance. Battles, a Pokemon fight does not, <laughs> Pokemon fight, a Pokemon battle does not take place like I'm here and the other Pokemon is here. It's not like a sumo wrestling contest. It should be big, expansive. Like, do you remember watching Pokemon as a kid? Do you remember watching Pokemon as a kid? And there was a whole ass fucking building, a giant like auditorium room with rocks and bullshit to have room for the Pokemon to run around and fight? Why? That's my problem with Pokemon. I don't like how crowded the battles feel. I like when the shit's spread out. Where'd my hand go? I like when the when it's spread out, when it feels like you have room, when it feels like you can breathe, when it feels like it's it feels bigger when there's a bigger area that's what coliseum did right it's not even the animation i just realized my problem is a pokemon i just feel too crap that's a really strange problem no one's ever said that to me before maybe that's not your problem but that's my rant over i haven't been that fired up since biakia and dongarapa um the battle camera being everywhere is goaded yeah i it's straight up it 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 has to feel actiony right it has to feel so actiony but it just doesn't um, yeah, Sam is my, yeah, I love Sam. Sam's such a cool little character. Anyways, can't get through here. That's just disturbing. Where I gotta go get my daughter. Um, so, sorry about the rant there. I just really had to get that out, man. John. John, look. Over here, John. John, over here. Cool. I can't, oh, God, Dog Rapa 2 is gonna be fucking awesome. I, I think I might force, because I've given you guys three tournaments now to, to choose the next games. Has it been three? I think it's been three. Three tournaments now to, to choose the next game. Or maybe it's just been two. I might. Oh, this is straight up like, okay. It's even more like um, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga now. Um, this is so, I love this kind of puzzle solving. Where it swaps between characters. That's so cool. Um, but yeah, I, uh, ow. Okay, maybe I need to think about this first. John, why don't you come back this way? I need to make a straight path. I forgot what I was going to say. But that's okay. It'll come back to me. Maybe it won't. And then John could get across. Oh, Dongarapa too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I might I might just force Dongarapa to happen next time. I'm going to leave a tournament. It, it may just be like, guys, we're doing it. I just had so much damn fun with Dongarapa last time. And, uh, and it was funny because at the time, I didn't... Th I was like, man, this is, this is just taking forever. I don't know if I can do these long series again. But it was so fun, man. Like, I think it might need to be done on a regular basis again. Can I get, nope, she can't get past. So where do I, oh, does it swap them? I bet it swaps them. Yeah, it does, okay. Uh, and then John has to do, oh, John goes, no. Does John knock it down? No, John has to go and bring it here maybe? Oh, oh, I bet I knock these down, maybe. Place a bomb? Because I've got to get this across somehow so that she can... Oh, duh, 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 duh. Stupid, stupid me. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, so she go here, and then I take John here, and I push... I put, uh, not, not you, not you. And I take John, and I drag and push across. So yeah, Dung Rapa 2 might, might happen sooner rather than later. That might be next. I don't know. We'll see what happens. She goes around. I'm going to swap back to John so they stay caught up to... Um, Superstar Saga was goaded, but no one ever talks about the Mario Luigi RPG series. I played my favorite one. I did like I did like Superstar Saga. My favorite one was um, Partners in Time because it just uh, it it so took advantage of the dual screen, but not in a, not in an obnoxious way. Um, on the, on the DS. It was such a cool little addition. And, and the music in that game was lovely. I, 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 the plot, of course, was um, 
it was goofy, but good, you know? Let me fuck these things up before they end my daughter. John is fucking jacked. I know John lifts, dude. You don't give a shit. I'm clear all this shit out the way so that Sam is good and safe. This game is really starting to uh, grow on me. John's got to get back, though. How does John do that? Perhaps if John threw a bomb and his daughter moved out the way. Now we drop the bomb and we... Yeah. And then all this blows up. And then now we can catch up. Hey, what's up, John? John, this way, John. John, look, Steam John. Okay. Um, I need her to turn something off, probably. Oh, this is timed. Let me get the pattern real quick. And there we go. And she turns it off. I love... These are... I, I didn't realize it. There has to be a name for this. But I love... This must be like a TV trips thing. But there, there is... Um, Sam is the funniest. I love Sam. She's great. Um, I, I, th this has to be a trope. This like two characters being controlled at the same time, but doing separate things together to solve puzzles. It, it, oh God, it vibes with me. It's just such a cool little thing. Um, it truly is one of my favorite ways to make puzzles uh, interesting in games. And she swap and she go and she push button and he come back and now he come this way and fight the snakes. Punch a snake in the mouth. Ow, ow, ow. We're gonna damage boost through it. Fuck it. Okay, we come this way. He step on switch. He swap. Oh, load. Oh, load. She, she's shooting. What's this over here? Oh, wait a minute. A little bonus room. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's salty. Um... Daryl Sam is the funniest thing. It's the best version of both Sam and Daryl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We bring out the best in each other. One player cooperative puzzle solving. I guess so. I guess so. I guess it's just... I don't know. It, it feels like I'm I'm playing with two pieces. It feels like I'm playing two-piece chess or something. I don't, I don't know. I can't fully explain it. Oh, and now she's going to shoot across the way, and now he can get across. That is cool AF. Now he can come across. Oh, God. Mm, they're putting on a fucking field day. This is great. Go ahead and pop these out. Um, goodness me, that is a trip down memory lane with Lost Vikings. Lost Vikings. Oh, Dark Sebi says you may want to check out the Lost Vikings then. It does a lot of the same multiple characters in the same time stuff that this does, but with three dudes. Oh, shit. <laughs> If you think I can't handle three men at once, then you've got another thing coming. It's an older game, too, like SNES Old by Blizzard. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. What was it? Viking... Lost Vikings. Lost Vikings. My bladder's about to be lost if I don't wrap this up. Lost Vikings. Cool. I will keep that open. No, it's just... Ow, oh, well, you fuck. Okay, hang on. I just got like a mic. No, I can't, actually. Okay, so don't you ever? All right, go for it, Sam. And now I walk across before the snakes regrow. Don't you hate when snakes regrow and come back to life and shit? Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Who was it earlier that said they tried to use Sam as a meat shield? I'm offended. How could you possibly use Sam, this precious little girl who deserves all the protection on Earth? I would use her as a shield. Beam. And there's another beam. Oh, I think I got a uh, maybe tree bomb. Retrieve bomb. Retrieve bomb. Retrieve it. <laughs> God damn it. Um, okay, now oh I need to come back. Can he come back? He can't come back. Great. Um, let me go ahead and can I blow both of them up. I can only blow one up. But I can freeze him. So that's fine. Oh well you know what? John should probably go check this out, whatever this is, then real quick. Yeah, okay, I knew it was fine. I was like, it wouldn't let me get out of here without both, right? Um, is that what the one random minigame of StarCraft 2 is referencing? Oh, maybe so. What a cool... Lost Vikings from 1992. I was negative two. Your boy hadn't even been considered yet. I was a, but a twinkle in my father's eye, as they say. Uh, a little, little, that's a fun little tube they got going on on there. And then we swap it. Oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry about that, John. I... John, switch. Switch, John. 
come back and we swap back to her. And we freeze these buggers. It's fine, just damage boost through it. And then she, oh load, she freezing. Not enough energy, oh shit. Let me just go ahead and blow these fuckers to kingdom come. All right, we snuck by. I didn't think that was gonna work, but it did. Oh, oh my God, my fucking bladder. I should go pee, but the second I pee, it'd be time to get off stream anyways. Oh, no, 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 okay. That was stressful. I really thought I blew that. Easy, easy, Daryl. Just keep it together. A little bit longer. Ha, ha. Oh shit, they're gonna grow back. No, god darn these fucking snakes. I farted. All right, I had to get through this section before I call it quits at least. I do want to wrap up the stream soonish, but I have to get through this part real quick, right? I have to be able to save. I have to get to a save spot. I can't just minimize this like I did Metroid. I guess I could. But I've, I've got to get back to Metroid at some point. It's very important to me. Okay, great. So, John, fuck him up. You you fucked yourself up. I hate fucking... Ugh, my dumbass brain sometimes. Blow him up. Blow him up. Blow him up. Break his neck. Break his neck. So, I think they really just want you to bully these things dead. And that's how you're gonna get by. Ugh. And then they're gonna soften me up with this. I'm about to leak pee if I don't go pee soon. <laughs> Partners in crime. All right, so can I freeze you guys? No, I really need to like get them dead as fuck. But they don't stay dead. That's the problem. Is they don't stay dead. Okay, I managed to get through one. Okay, great. I can get bit by one, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Oh my god, they're about, to they're about to reunite, finally. They're about to reunite, finally, oh yes. John, I found you, John. You're right here, John, John. Oh, John, John. <laughs> it just fits so well. I have Blizzard put, um, I had have Blizzard put Rock and Roll Racing anywhere online for download. That game was so good. Was it really? Rock and Roll Racing? That's one thing, and I've, I've mentioned this before, this is one thing you guys may not know about me, is I have such a big backlog because there's so many things in the past I've missed. Um, but first of all, anything called rock and roll racing automatically has my vote of confidence. Rock and roll racing. SNES, I assume? Oh, I, I can already tell from the screenshots this is going to be some... <laughs> That to me, that game is going to be as fun as like ice hockey on the SNES, like stupidly fun for how simple it was. Ah, they're back together. Okay, so can I save? Is there a refrigerator? Really got to both in the stream and pee, but I don't want to uh, do that until I'm no longer in danger, John. John, danger. You're going to want to save some bombs, trust me. Ah, great. Love to see it. Love saving bombs. Let me just go ahead and pop one out real quick. And boom. Gimme, gimme. Okay, I need to find a way to get to a shave point. A shave point. Oh, not to be confused with a shave point, which is where you, where, where one no longer, where you check your beard in at. Where am I going? I can't. Do I? My bladder brain is not cooperating with what I'm seeing here. What do I... Hang on. These are all ledges. I suppose let's just try something. Oh, you know what I gotta do? I, I just realized. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you with a uh, kitchen appliance there, Sam. I gotta land it on that. Ah. Gotta do it again. Probably, right? Okay. I see what you mean by saving bombs. You're gonna need these for this part. Scootoosh. What was that? Y'all remember in Wind Waker, the, the sound that Shopkeeper made whenever you um, play his little bomb game? And every time you played Battleship, you'd be like, kaboom, kaboom. 
That shit was so charming. I like Wind Waker. Does you need to pee outweigh your dislike of backseating? Um, oh, fuck no. Are you kidding me? Backseat all you want. I am all about backseating. Please hold my hand. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, Fenrir says, hey, Daryl, I found some timestamps for the PM speedrun video if you're still interested. In case it's hard, uh, it's kind of hard to follow, though. In any case, the TLDR seems to be the runner. Uses Ocarina of Time to put the code on the N64 expansion pack. Crashes, then swaps games. Plays up to a certain point, then basically executes the code to warp to the credits. Really? That's so interesting. We're probably not going to watch it because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to wrap up here pretty quick. Um, but that sounds really, really, I'm going to, that's definitely going to be watched by my freaking eyes here in a little bit. Um, got a heart orb. Yay. Oh, wonderful. Got a piece of heart as they would call it in the Zoldan series. Speaking of Zoldan, when am I going to get another Nicky Jakey video? I know he's just like living his best life right now, but man, I really miss that guy. He's one of a kind. No one ever makes, no one makes shit like him. The Paper Mario speedrun is wild. Take is wild. Yeah, it has to be, right? Based on what people have been saying all day about, because we, we talked speedruns a little bit earlier, but yeah, that's... We're in the mayor's house? Oh, shit. Um, we're going to pull a secret lever? This is sex dungeon? What are we... What is this? Um, oh, this is actually part of the room. Um, yeah, we talked speedruns earlier, and uh, that was... I, I am continually fascinated. I got to pull this. It's like stuck. I'm continually fascinated with the degree that you have to be familiar with these games to figure out that you can do those things, you know? Like the amount of time that has to go into it. Hey, this is the mayor's house. John, we made it back. Hell yeah, we did. But we're probably not... Oh, let's steal. Can we steal his, his salt? Salt is the currency in this game if you're just tuning in. Can we steal his salt? Oh, let's not steal his salt. Oh, is he really? Oh, God. I would love to see that. I did a speedrunning video way, way, God, it was like 20, it was 2018 when I made a speedrunning video. Still one of my favorites. Um, just about like automaticity and that whole psychological concept. But boy, it's, it's just, there's just so much you can talk about with speedrunning. I think you, you could probably still do it. You just got to find the interesting perspective, right? Abandon all hope of Eric coming back. I'm coming to take you to the world above. Oh, right. he's, he's, he, John, what's this? He's trying to exile us, right? That was the whole deal. Switch to the Earthborn. Switch with the Earthborn manga. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Absolutely. Have you heard about um, hot plate speedrun strats? I don't think I have. I don't think I have. Okay, so I swapped that. I don't know if that was the purpose. Or if I'm just trying to escape. I guess I'm just trying to escape, huh? Where am I to go? What am I to do? How am I to do? Where am I to go? Oh, is there a secret room? There is How many secret rooms has this dude got in his house? Whoa, this must be where the mayor keeps all his dirty seat. Yeah, straight up. I'm about to come across his hentai mag. Whoa, whoa, where do you, John, John, no. John, secret door. No, John. John, come back. The hot play, hot play ones are the one that's... In. Now I gotta look into this. I want to touch on esports and how speedrunning is an esport, but people don't really recognize it as one of the same as Dota. Yeah, you. I, I think it's because it, it's so much more of like a... I think it's because it's more of a... We're all we're all in this together, trying to find new strats. Like it's more, I feel like there's more respect in the speedrunning community, and I could be wrong. I'm not part of it. Like I don't speedrun, so I don't know. It's just my educated guess. But like I would think it's because we're all working towards the same goal. We're all going to use each other's strats. It's just who can get there, who can execute these particular strats to get that world record, right? Whereas um, Dota fight, fighters as well, it's all about like besting someone else. You know, it's, you're all kind of working, working towards the same goal, of course, of like being able to win, but it's, it's directly confrontational, you know? Um, plus it's, it's like in fight in, in speed runs, you get direct feedback from how well you're doing based on your time. If you're better than you, than, than you were yesterday, that in itself feels better than like losing again and again in a fighting game, even though that's like required, you know? Um, grease strats. This is all <laughs> all terminology. I do not know what's going on. Uh, Dav Ty, how you doing? I appeared. Good to see you, man. Welcome. Very glad you're here. What is this? 
Looks like it's missing something. Okay. Is it missing? This is all inside his house. What are we looking? Okay, refrigerator, thank God. Okay. There is a God. I will be able to pee. The fridge, here we go. What's the fridge got to say? It took us so much effort to figure out a way to save our memories. But what if those memories you save aren't the real you? I'm getting sick of your shit, fridge. I I'm getting tired. <laughs> I'm getting tired of reading this. Hot plate and grease, literally? What? Okay. Well, we saved. I'm gonna save again because once never feels enough. Especially when I'm about to like actually turn it off. So I guess, guys, we're gonna end it on a cliffhanger. Next, we we're gonna find out what is in the mayor's house and what the hell is going on in this game. In between now and then, I will be playing a shit ton of this game. Uh, not actually, probably not. I'm, I'm actually almost finished with it, I think. Um, but yeah, this was a fun one, guys. I, I, first of all, I didn't expect the turnout to be this good because uh, this, well, this good, this good, I guess this good is correct. Because last weekend we only had like 15 people, I think, the whole time, but we got like 30 today. So thank you guys so much for joining in, for tuning in, for joining, for tuning in and joining. John, get, get the gun, John. Um, I gotta pee. I can't, I can't think of much of a clever intro, outro. But thank you guys for joining me, as always. It's a lot of fun. We'll be back here next time, uh, or next week, around the same time. Mitch, hey, I appreciate you dropping by, man. It was, it was awesome to have you in here. Hope you're doing well. Looking forward to, uh, to, to watching the video that you just recently put up. And uh, definitely go check out Heavy Eyed on YouTube, if you guys, if you haven't already. Amazing, amazing stuff. It does a really good job with his work. And uh, what was I gonna say? Found you on my rec page. Cool to see you. Oh, awesome. Well, that's 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 good news i guess <laughs> i'm glad that worked out that way um last time i had to work yeah let's, everybody's gonna work everybody's got weird schedules but yeah potentially i mentioned this earlier potentially some saturday streams in the future we may play with the timing because i know some folks are not in the u.s and it's a very different time zone for you guys and some folks are just busy during the week and they're open during saturdays we'll see we'll play with it we'll bounce back and forth but thanks guys for dropping by have a wonderful evening i'm gonna go pee like a russian racehorse and um I might go get some fucking Popeyes after we talked about it out there earlier. So, anyways, uh, take care of yourselves. New video next, not this, not this Saturday, but next. See you then.